good evening, everybody. Hope y'all are having a good day today. Uh, thank you for coming on down and saying hi. It's it's lovely. It's lovely to have you here. Um, tonight we are gonna be playing some motherfucking uh, Call of Cthulhu: Dark Corners of the Earth. This shit's an old game. It's like I want to say like almost like fucking 16 years old, mid 2000s. Uh, Bethesda published uh, game. Uh, what is it? Adaptation of a table of, of an unfortunately cursed tabletop game that doesn't really get good adaptations. It seems this game is going to be jank and silly and busted, much like the last one I played with Patch. But it'll still be a good time, I think. It's a it's a it's a wild it's a wild little fucking game, and I've got my good homie Lana Wolsby on. She's fucking awesome, so that'll be a good time. French in the trenches. Hello, French. It's always good to see you. How are you fucking doing tonight, homie? Um, what's up? Um, other than that, my day has been kind of okay. I hope everybody else's day has been all right. I just kind of spent the day kind of chilling. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's just kind of been like one of those kind of like semi-empty days. But hopefully, it'll get better. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, so. With, uh, everything all set up, I'm actually gonna head on down to the bar and get us right fucking started. Uh, here we fucking go. Alright. So, for those who are new to my channel, I am Too Much Sasha. I am a battle maid who came to Chernobyl as a mercenary, uh, before faking my death and quitting my job and becoming a freelance battle maid where I'm currently in the employ of the stalkers who run the 100 rads bar and of course the nearby duty barracks where i cook i clean and i hunt um not exclusively mutants of course depending on how much money you give me um and of course in my spare time i like to come onto twitch and i like to stream spooky shooty games with all of my friends um my friend here tonight is lana wolsby lana introduce yourself Hello, I'm Lana Wolsby. I'm a detective, though others would say I'm a <laughs> mediocre detective. Um, I should probably be on some sort of case right now, but we're not going to talk about that. This seems more interesting. But uh, yes, I'm here now. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're on a case tonight. We're, we're, yeah? we're in Innsmouth. We're going to be on a case in Innsmouth. <laughs> oh yeah, I was supposed to be on that case. I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> ah, better late than never, right? Oh, what? Better yeah. late than never, right? I'm sure that missing person isn't getting any more alive. Yeah. Wait, that's. I'm, I don't. I don't think that's the expression. <laughs> Whoops. And it's fine. This <laughs> should fine. <laughs> All right. So, hold up. Uh, I started the fucking game in the background, and it's insatiably fucking loud. Um, so, uh, how much do you know about tonight's game we're going to be playing? Nothing. <laughs> ah, I see. Uh, real quick, by the way, also, um, here is, I actually made a specialized shout out for my co-hosts that any, uh, users can, um, what is it, fucking use if they ever so please. Um, there is Lana's Twitch. Go give her a fat follow. It's awesome to have her on. Um, so... This is a game that's an adaptation of a tabletop RPG called Call of Cthulhu, which was actually made by one of the people who worked on Doom, funnily enough, uh, Sandy Peterson. Oh. It's cool as shit. Um, also, d okay, never mind, this game is just normally f way too fucking loud. I'm actually gonna have to change these settings. Um, <clears throat> so it came out in, like, the mid-2000s, it was, uh, published by Bethesda and made by some studio nobody's fucking heard of. Um, it is not a great game it's it's broken it's it's busted it's fucking jank and silly and not really super scary but it does have some really cool moments and i think at the very least its intro starts off fantastic it just kind of falls it just kind of falls a little bit pretty quickly after that but we'll have to see um i i think at the very least the 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 amount of it we're going to see on stream tonight should be a good time now, real quick, I'm just trying to fucking get this to work. Where's my sound mixer? Alright. Um, so, I think I'm just about ready to go in. How about you? Oh, right, hold on a second. I, uh... 
Give me a sec. Okay, every time I change my audio mixer settings in uh in my fucking PC, it makes it so that I can't hear anything through Discord and I have to reassign my uh my audio output. All right, now I can hear you. All right, um, so I'm ready to go in. How about you? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, first, let me make sure you're getting an actual live feed of this. Hopefully, it should work. Uh, by the way, it's gonna be fucking loud, so just be aware of that. Um, that's true. I seem to be unable to adjust it on my end, so this may be a bit difficult. Yep, that's because I'm tabbed out. Uh, let's go to the game screen and get ourselves in. Okay. Game audio is coming through OBS. Yeah, this is stupid loud, and for some reason... Hold up. Still a bit loud for me. Yeah, hold up. It was... Th this is it. These go up to 10. It's pretty loud on my end, yeah. So I guess we'll just have to see. I can adjust these on the fly if I want to. Um, but I'm going to keep it low myself and then just turn it up in my post if I, you know, if I so need to. So yeah, uh, this is Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. This is your main menu. It's pretty fucking sparse. Um, but you'll, you'll see. You'll all see. Oh, you played Cry of Fear? Oh... Oh my god. Cry of... Cry of Fear is the game that I want to stream sometime, but god, is that going to be fucking difficult. That one is... It's... It's a... F oh yeah, the co-op could be fun. It's just... It's a fucked up game. Oh, of course it is. It's, it's a fucked up game, but it's a fantastic experience, and it and Lost in Vivo are, in my opinion, like the closest people have come to making a good Silent Hill game after the first four came out. Um... It's, it's solid. I, I really want to play it. It's just, it's too bad. It's too fucking terrifying. Um, so we're going to start a new game. We are not playing on, on anything above Private Investigator for obvious reasons. Um, yeah. So, a little bit of backstory is that this game is actually mostly based a little bit, at least at the start, off of a short story by H.P. Lovecraft called uh, The Shadow Over Innsmouth, which is all about somebody, like, looking to go to, like, some kind of town called, like, Innsmouth, or for, for whatever reason, but, like, everybody there is, like, at first just really, really off and not right for reasons the protagonist can't put down, and things, things start to gradually spiral out of control, and it becomes very obvious that there are some horrible things happening in this town. Um, the good news about this game is that it takes... It doesn't take a lot from that story, aside from its setting, which is good, because fun fact, The Shadow of Rinsmith as a story is written by H.P. Lovecraft about what he thought would happen if interracial marriage was a thing. It's bad. It's bad. Um, so, it's a good thing that they've been kind of, like, not super sticking with that here, for obvious reasons. Um... I mentioned Sandy Peterson earlier as one of the co-creators of the tabletop game that this is meant to be inspired by. He's also a bad person. Sandy Peterson sucks. <laughs> um, so we're kind of diving into a hell of an experience here. This game is just, we go to Innsmouth because there's a case we need to fucking figure out, and shit goes south fast. So that's all you get to know for now. Let's do it. Oh, it's really jank. This is, like, easily one of the most unstable games of its era I've played. But it's not bad. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All Jack that Walters, was, that's our protagonist's name. <laughs> hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds. And it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. You said it. Roll the credits. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Look at the top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. Uh oh. Am I going to have to mute this audio, bruh? I'm gonna have to mute this fucking audio. Oh yeah, just talk over it. Audio jungle. 
Oh. Oh, Jesus. I forgot this is in the intro. This, this mental hospital doesn't seem to be very well kept. Oh, God. Uh, after World War One, I, I think. Damn. Oh, yeah, no, no. Uh, mental hospitals back in the day were horrible. Uh, a, a good movie about that is called uh, One Flew Over the, Cru the Cuckoo's Nest. I want to watch it, actually. It's fucked up. Oh, nice. Yeah, anytime I see, like, a nurse in any type of these horror games that have asylums in them, I insist on calling them Nurse Ratchet for that fucking reason. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So that guy who kicked his chair in the intro, that's us. That was a that was a flash into the future. Okay, yeah, this is just after World War One. This is nineteen fifteen. The one that died. <laughs> so so the the like the, the the culmination of this game's plot will result in our protagonist fucking taking his life, so it's probably gonna be pretty bad. Yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> Me when I play Halo Reach. Sorry, Jack. What's the beef? This fellow will only talk to you. Sorry, Jack, we had to call. Don't know any I don't know how he's done it, but I know he's done it. Here a, few back. a weird cult. Oh, God. Yeah, they've been causing trouble all over Waco, Texas. Okay, I can't, I can't make a joke about Waco, Texas. I can't do that on stream. No one ever presses charges. I'm gonna rub you out, see? Yeah. <laughs> You're fucking ridiculous. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? So there's a cult hanging out in this building, they all just live here, and now they're just taking shots at people from the window for no reason. I better check out this crazy Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I After Waco, I refuse to believe it when people say, oh yeah, this like, you know, religious group just started shooting at people from the windows. I don't I don't know about that one. This, this sensitivity. Oh god. I can't change the FOV, by the way. Can I change the... Can I change the sensitivity? Ah! Praise be. That is still super low. It's still super low. Fast. Oh, you know why it feels low? Is because the FOV is fucking low. It doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it is lean. Uh, fun fact, when I had a patch that let you turn up the FOV, um, I found a bug where I was able to, like... So doors have bolts on them that let you lock them and shit. Um, and uh, I found out that you could lean, you could lean through a door like, clip through it, and bolt it from the other side. Or if a door was bolted, you can then lead through and then clip it to, like, clip through it to unbolt it while you were stuck inside of it, and you could just, like, pass through doors or lock them like that. It was... How you doing, kid? Oh. Good, sir. Is it true what they say about you? Depends on what they're saying. <laughs> that you're the best VTuber ever. I can't say that. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hey kid, why are your teeth all fucked up? Always questions and in no mood for answering. Jack, Officer Nichols will brief you at the top. Be careful. Why can I not move backwards or forwards? I think I saw him with Officer Armstrong. Oh. Just take it easy. Wide open here. It's okay. I've got you covered. <laughs> They're talking about me. Hey, where is he? Hello. Oh, that's oh, that's why I was I was fucking sneaking. Oh, oh. Wow. 
I don't like this. That's not very respectful. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? No, <laughs> but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. A bit twitchy? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, I guess they're just shooting now. That that body just disappeared. I don't think it was supposed to do that. I don't how do I close the door? I can't remember how to actually like use items, yeah. Huh? Okay. Can't see shit. Okay. Yeah, literally. I'm I'm fine. I find myself very confused with the control scheme. Oh. All right. Well, Wait, oh, the reason I can't move back is because... Give me a second to look at these fucking controls. Hold up, what are these? Econfig? Backwards? Why is it X? What? Oh! That's why I couldn't open the fucking doors. What the fuck is look strafe? Now get this fix this shit. Oh my god. Okay, that was weird as shit. Hey. Alright, look strafe. I don't know what that is. Inventory, quick heal. Yeah, these all look okay. Um, yeah, I was like, what? I couldn't move backwards. Now I can. Okay, that's sneak. This is regular moving. Okay, there we go. That's that's got it. Now we're good. Alright, so this is um, some kind of diagram. Uh, that's fucked up. Oh. Alright. I like there's a gunfight happening. I'm just looking at this cool little room they've got. As oh. Continue to translate the narcotic, narcotic fragments? More and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. Yithian masters. They truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. Yeah. I know now just uh, how are, are y'all with the cult? We're not a cult. We just recognize that our Yithian masters surpass us in intellect. All right, this is it. <laughs> Elder things? creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. Yeah, you know what else is fucked up? That mirrored texture on the desk. Look at this. This is the this is the inventory screen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wait, hold up, wait. He does! <laughs> I mean, it's a Bethesda game. That's that's par for the course. Alright. It's an old stove. It's an old stove, yeah. It's, um... It's too dark to be sure. It's too dark to be sure, yeah. Tells me these shelves are used for storing food. Ah, okay. Oh, hey, what's that symbol on the wall? Strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it literally is. This is how you save. It, it, it gets explained later. Oh, that's, uh, that's fucking biblically accurate angel shit. I don't know. It just looks like a ton of eyes. Locked. It's locked. Yeah. Well, it is like the fucking 1910s. Oh, yeah. What is that noise, huh? Okay. Um, We're going to worry about that later. Okay, I think we have to worry about it now. Oh, he's dying. At last. Thank you. 
Um, keep my distance from the window, or I'll end up like this nut job. It's kind of fucked up if, like, a whole, like, a whole ass cult started a gunfight with some cops and, like, you walk in, they're just like, at last it's you. You're like, what? I can't open it. I might have to turn this brightness up. It, it lies to me and tells me. It tells me that I should have it, like, technically, like, darker than this, actually. Because it says you shouldn't be able to distinguish the colors below the line. Right? Like, technically, this. This is the brightness setting it says I should have it on. Um, it doesn't look like Discord, like uh, like OBS is actually picking this up, so I shouldn't have to worry about it there. But I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. There we go, that's better. Poisoning by the looks of it. Oh. He's dead. They're all dead. Oh, whoa, what's happening to my screen? Suicide. Or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. Yeah, I think he's disturbed. Hold up. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's hot and giving off a lot of smoke. A diary. This will make interesting reading. Behind? Um, let's see. Mythos tomes and manuscripts. Ah, here we go. August 20th, 1915. We've been watching him now for two months. I can feel my anticipation growing as the day of contact draws near. Victor has not yet divulged his final plan for bringing Mr. Walters to us. All I know is that we must succeed. The sermon today was inspiring. Victor enlightened us with the story of the great race transcending the bounds of time to visit his dreams. Of the conscious things on this earth and in the ocean depths, we are but servants to a greater design. I can only hope that my faith during these days will win me favor when our masters step through the gate. The experiments below have claimed one more of our order. Another volunteer is needed, but many are willing. We are truly blessed through our faithful service, now that his coming grows so close. September 3rd. The preparations are complete and Victor's plan is in motion. He will arrive soon. Surely by now he must suspect his true nature, or at least question the nature of his gifts. He has come. Finally it begins. Okay. So these guys were stalking me. He's dead. They're all, They're dead. all dead. See, I, I don't think he gives a shit. Oh yeah, it literally is. <laughs> wow, surprise, surprise. Being in a room full of ritual mass suicide kind of disturbs some people. Oh hey, what's up with this dude? Oh God! Don't shoot! I'm unarmed. Ah, we've been expecting you, Mr. Walter. Oh. A key. Damn. He recognized me. And it's. Oh. It oh God. Like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. Jack. Jack's response and like. He's dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. Yeah, like I've said, I, I told you before the stream, there are a couple of parts where, like, Jack's voice acting is a little bit iffy. Yeah. Whoa. Alright, well, we've explored the entire upper floor. It's locked. Oh, right. The key doesn't, it's locked. The key doesn't fit. Well, where would it fit? It's unlocked. Oh, here we go. Now we can go in here. Yeah, pictures of me. <laughs> they really like me, huh? Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. What the hell is going on? It seems they've been tracking my movements. Oh my god. <laughs> They're like, they're doing it by day. It must have been lit recently, but it started to die down. Yeah, there's a clock. I don't oh. understand. I'm in all of these photos. <laughs> it's voice acting. I don't understand. Oh, oh, he's getting scared now. He's getting scared. Something I've forgotten. 
screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I gotta think. Don't think too hard, dude. You're gonna give yourself a fucking aneurysm. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, they did say something about gifts, didn't they? It's unlocked. Uh oh, what the fuck is that? Oh. Did the game just crash? The game just crashed. <laughs> uh oh. I have I, I I think this might be a common thing tonight. Give me a second, I gotta restream it on Discord. This this game this is the game ever. Um No, the saving is manual. Oh, it didn't used to it didn't used to crash that much when I played it myself. So we'll have to see. All right. Um, I think I'm getting a feed of it live. Give me a sec. Is it is it gonna load? Oh, nice. Okay, hold up. Are we? Is it, there we go. There we go. Load. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. Well, we're going to have to go through some of that again. Oh my god, I have to go back up to the top and look at everything again. It. Yeah. Yep, see ya. <laughs> he just says, at last it's you, and then I just leave. Nah, it's in this room. That's a that's a really nice way to read out that a bunch of people died. Poison must have been on the menu. Like, wow, dude. Alright, note to self. Save as soon as I get downstairs. Oh, God. Don't, don't do that. Do not listen to my co-host. By God. Yeah. Oh my god. I I I guess. I doubt it. Yeah, it's right over there. There we go. What sucks is about the crash is I installed a fan patch too. Hmm. Boston Globe, 20th of August, 1909. Enlightened or duped? Inside Boston's strangest church. Those of our readers who live near its headquarters and ordinary-looking Boston residents will need no introduction to the Fellowship of Yith. For those who have not encountered the mysterious semi-religious group before, a few words of explanation are necessary. What? <laughs> I, 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 think, I think that's what the newspaper just says. Nah. Since our country... Hey, hey, welcome back, French. Good to see ya. Tell me how your day's going, boss. Since our country's founding upon the basis of religious freedom, the shores have been home to many small religious groups outside the mainstream. No small number are headquartered in the, in the states of New England, where the pilgrims themselves sought a new world free of religion and persecution. Who knew hospital connection is so terrible? Oh yeah, that's fair. Oh, I hope you feel better, homie. Be safe. The question must be asked, at what point does a religion become a cult and its trusting adherents doing great? Wonderful, good to hear it, yo. Um, at what point does a religion become a cult and its trusting adherents, not to mention its blameless neighbors, become victims? That is the question of this journal posts in regards to the Fellowship of Yith. 
In a month-long investigation, our intrepid reporters have diligently sought out the truth behind the so-called church. Its origins are somewhat mysterious. The more so since the group's leaders declined to be interviewed or to assist our investigation in any way. However, it seems the Fellowship was founded more than 20 years ago by one Victor Holt based on a revelation he had received from beyond the confines of this world. Holt has not been seen for almost six years. His followers apparently believe that he is communing with the mysterious powers behind his faith, and that he is shortly to return with new insights and teachings. All this sounds like a harmless if eccentric spiritual group, little different from many others. However, those who make their homes near to the Fellowship's headquarters tell a different, more sinister story. The adherents of this obscure sect are to be found loitering on street corners, casting menacing glares at their innocuous neighbors, and frequently engaging in acts of petty crime, which the local police seem powerless to prevent or redress. Strange lights have been observed burning in the windows of the old house at all hours of the day and night. They change color unpredictably and cast weird, unintelligible shadows. Even more disturbing are the noises which have been heard to issue from within the mysterious building. They include chanting, unearthly music, and worst of all, screams like those of lost souls in agony. Many of the sect's neighbors are convinced that its services include human sacrifice or similar atrocities. Those few who dared to complain to the police were told that because the house is private property and because there is no concrete evidence of any wrongdoing, the most they can do is file a noise complaint. That is not true. Um, exigent circumstances exist. Uh, if police have reason to believe that somebody is being harmed within a building, they can enter without a warrant. Um, I'm pretty sure people screaming is probably cause enough. French says, yep, that's a cult. That's true, actually, yeah. Are the horrors of Salem being reenacted in our city more than two centuries on? Is this fellowship of Yith engaging in unspeakable and criminal acts of worship involving torture and sacrifice? Why is nothing being done to ease the fear and distress they cause to the local community? Well, how many pages? Okay, there's only two left. A source within the police department speaking on the condition of anonymity tell the Globe that the fellowship is suspected of involvement in a number of local crimes, but so far the lack of evidence and the reluctance of nervous witnesses to come forward have thwarted any official investigation. Very well, we say. Where the police cannot or will not investigate, the Globe shall continue to act in the interests of Boston citizens, fearlessly exposing the truth about this so-called church and its followers. Our findings will be published in these pages over the following months, so that all may know the truth. Editor's note, it is with great sorrow that the Globe announces the death of reporter Howard Adelstone, who was leading the paper's investigation into the Fellowship of Yeg when he apparently drowned in Boston Harbor. Oh. Um, well, uh, so, so bad, bad news about those findings, guys. The coroner has ruled his death a suicide. Good morning, Kings. Let's get this, let's get this Boston Globe paper. Bad news about the Boston Globe, guys. Oh, God. Oh, that's not what I just picked up. The, the note that I just picked up was not that. The note I just picked up was, in fact, The manuscript looks medieval but claims to be a translation from classical Greek of a far older work from before the time of the first humans. French said, sounds like someone decided that Jesus is overrated. Sounds like someone decided that Jesus was overrated because he wasn't from outer space. Oh my god, yeah. Or, or from under the sea. You don't get to decide which. The pages are stained, faded, and even burned in some places, making reading difficult. The legible sections tell the history of unthinkably distant antiquity. They speak of races so strange as to be beyond human comprehension and wars fought across vast gulfs of space and time. They are concepts so utterly alien that they sound like absolute madness. Time travel, flying polyps, mental projection, great race of yith. It makes you dizzy just to read it. Alright, well then don't. You know what's really making me dizzy? This fucking FOV. That too. I wonder, I wonder if I can open up the patch or maybe change that FOV. Oh, because they're like all like knocked over and shit. Oh, probably because they're switches. Never mind. Uh, it's just a book. What? Uh, the game just, the game just crashed again. I, uh, I'm worried. 
Lana. I'm worried this might be a problem. <laughs> I'm worried this might be a problem. <laughs> All right. We might have to use. We might have to do a backup, Lana. We might have to do a fucking backup. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that is a fucking stalker moment, French. Oh my god. Bruh, I knew this game was old and busted, but I didn't think it was old and busted enough that I wouldn't be able to stream it. We do not very commonly get instances like this. Also, I have to re-add the game's uh, audio source for some reason. Have y'all been getting the audio at all? I hope y'all have. Give me a sec here. It's not even showing up as an audio source in OBS anymore, yo. Like, it's just, it's just not showing up. Oh, yeah. Hold up. What the fuck? Okay, let me try restarting it. This is, this is bonkers. Let me open up the patch or I download it. Oh, yeah. Well, well, they weren't now, but I saw the slider. It was going okay, re like, previously. I'm... Absolutely, uh, fucking, hold on. Load this, open. Why can't I edit the FOV? I can't edit the FOV or anything else in this. Um, hearing something, but I'm not sure. Oh, hey, hey. No, I'm in the, I'm in the patcher that I'm using. Um, and I'm not even in the launcher. Uh, let's see here. I can't seem to actually be able to, like, change... Any of the like patcher settings like the FOV when I swear to god I was able to do previously. This is um this is unfortunate. Uh what do I actually have? <laughs> Alright. Okay, Lana. I have an idea. I have an idea. Um Do you wanna play another game that's Lovecraftian? All right, all right, I have an idea. Give me a second here. Give me a second. All right. We're going to play a classic tonight, fellas. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, it's going to be spooky enough that I'm... Oh, God, you're watching the stream. No, don't watch the stream. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, you've never played it? You never played it? Okay, good, good. I've never beaten it, actually. It's definitely not something I can beat on stream. Okay, that's unfortunate that this had to happen. Um, but honestly, considering it's a game with such a, like... Such a fucking, like... How do I put this? It's, it's a game with such a fucking, like... Um... Reputation for being so broken. I probably should have expected this. Um... So give me a second here. I'm editing this, and I'm gonna have to, like, fix this shit up on the fly. Uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent, set that up. Um, let's, let's open up Amnesia, then. Okay, this is gonna suck. This is a game I have not been able to beat. Yes, yes, I should be. Um... It's a game that I haven't really beaten, primarily because I don't really fuck with its gameplay loop, its core gameplay loop of just, like, the stealth thing. It's not fun for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Can I add this? Okay, I'm gonna have to, um... Give me a sec. Uh, hold up. Can I select all of these? Uh, Discord, add, and fucking OBS add. Can't seem to hear the audio from Lana. Yeah, speak for a second? Yeah, that is, no, you can't hear the audio from Lana. That's a problem. Give me a sec. Hold up, I got this. This is fucked up. Everything is breaking because of fucking... Okay, we got all, we got Lana's audio okay. now. 
Everything is fucked up. Everything is fucked up because of Call of Cthulhu. God damn it. Cthulhu I didn't sh attacked the stream. <laughs> yeah, no, fucking Bethesda attacked the stream. All right, we Ooh, fuck it, we loud. ball. Yeah, this game is loud. I forgot my fucking last name I had was just called Shitman. <laughs> uh, I hope I had brown pants. <laughs> Houston, we have audio. Yeah, we do. All right, all right. Let me let me make sure all the audio the options are good. Uh, oh, I should have had something better than this lined up. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what are you What are you apologizing for? You, this isn't I'm your fault. Sorry. It's, it's fucking it's Bethesda. It's fucking whatever the studio was that okay. made it. I can't even remember what they're called. Where's Bethesda's headquarters? <laughs> um, I don't know. Huh? I'll look it up. Sound device. Yeah, we want that. Game. Show subtitles. Uh, crosshair. I do not need death hints. It's in Rockville, Maryland. Hmm, that's a bit oh, far. Oh, Maryland. Mm-hmm. Oh, I am not- I'm not looking forward to this. I'm gonna go this. over there, and I'm gonna knock down their door and be like, Fix your game! <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this, bruh. Bethesda bad GSE good. Indeed. Um, also New Blood good. And again, when do they ever fix their games? <laughs> Hold up, I gotta, I gotta make a tweet about this. I gotta add on to the tweet. Um, <laughs> oh God, God, I'm. This is like, why do I say, oh God? I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to say, oh God or oh geez. <laughs> oh God, I fucking, I. This is like taking me back to like phrase. ten years ago. God. Let me see this. Uh, comment under it. So, alright, Lana, what do you know about Amnesia? Um, you can go insane. You can. And dark is bad? Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, bad news about Call of Cthulhu. Game's broken. Fuck it, we ball. We're playing. Oh fuck! We're playing a throwback instead. Amnesia. Yes. There's water and lightning. It's in a castle. I like castles. Castles are cool. Also, why is the screen moving on its own? That's kind of creepy. Oh, cause my character's all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who got results back from the doctor? Oh. You? No, um, French. Oh. Let's go. Tell us. New blood very good? Indeed. New blood very good. New blood? Huh? Oh. Holy shit. Thank you for the follow, Hitsuji. Welcome on in. Yeah, this is a. I kind of wanted to avoid, like, usual suspects games like this, but. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> At this point, anything goes. I have two sprains on my legs. Oh shit, yo! I hope you fucking heal soon. Oh, the game's like to 60 FPS. <laughs> oh god, dude, Jesus! I hope you heal up soon. Be safe and take it easy, yo. Wish there was more I could do. All I can really do is just offer you good luck. All right, so this pink juice we're seeing here, I think this is because uh, we fucking. That I think that's the. Uh, all right. If I remember correctly, what's going on is that our protagonist drank some kind of potion, um, to make himself forget because he did some bad shit. He did some bad shit, but he left himself a note because because there's there's like there's something he needs to do. That's all I know. I I remember Wait. this game being pretty cool. I remember its sequel being terrible, and its most recent sequel was slightly less terrible, but not as good as this. So you ended up here. Yes. Because you did something. Yes. But do you know what you did? I know what he did, but you don't, and I'm not telling you. Uh, okay. <laughs> I ain't spoiling it. I'm going to guess it's murder. What? That's what it always is. It's always murder. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that's, 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 that's fucking, that's like rookie shit compared to what the protagonist of this game was implicit in. Oh. Oh, I broke this for nothing. Can I turn off this motion blur, bro? This motion blur is ridiculous. Motion blur is awful. Motion blur is bad. 
It's right there. Oh my god, look at all these post-processing effects. Okay, it looks worse, actually. There was a motion blur somewhere. I thought I saw it. There's radio blur? Image trail. Oh, I am all the way up. Uh... I'm just gonna keep it all on. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. These are important, I think. Look at the candles! They're so pretty. <laughs> This game, I oh, thought, looked pretty me. good. Oh. You hear footsteps? I hear creaking. Man, this is why I was happy about Call of Cthulhu. Because, uh, like, halfway through the fucking game, uh, the fucking, uh, you just, like, find guns, and it just becomes, like, a fucking, like, shooter. Where all of, like, the, like, Cthulhu-esque beings you can just fucking kill in gunfights. And it's not scary anymore. Here, it's just like, you never get to fight back, and because of that, it gets kind of annoying. Uh -huh. I think this is supposed to illustrate the protagonist fucking, like, crawling on the ground and being scared of stuff. French says, let's just say the protagonist could get a Netflix original series made about him. Yeah. I could. <laughs> yeah. This dude's fucked up. This dude's fucked up, is all I'm gonna say. My high school experience could be a series. Oh, God. <laughs> Same, to be honest. Alright, there's... We're picking up these tinderboxes, you need them to light matches, I remember. Oh, no! Uh. Spooky things happened, the lights went out. Boo. Man. So scary. I would have tried to hide in the closet knowing me. <laughs> I don't know. I've played enough of this game's intro to know that, like, after, like, the first, like, after, like, ten years, it doesn't hit the same. But there's also, like, the parts of it I haven't gotten to. Alright, old We're archives. Following a blood trail, like, hmm, yes. This won't kill me. A fragrant taste of lo rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Can Constantinople. Have that's I ever had uh, a Turkish delight? that's uh, in Istanbul to you, my dude. Um, what is he talking about? Baklava? Is he talking about baklava? I think he might be. Isn't that where Turkish delight is, or is that Turkish delight? It's like that little um, hold on, I'm gonna look at a picture of it. Just make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Huh. Delight. It's uh, it looks like this um. It's kind of like has like a powdery coating around it. It looks like a jello cube. Oh. Uh, have you seen Narnia? Nope. Like, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to give down. you an example. Dang it. Um, okay. So it's like kind of squishy. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> there's different flavors of it. So I'm trying to figure out what the actual like default flavor is real quick because there's like lemon there's chocolate there's whatever taste hmm. like. uh. okay. I played plain the game Turkish delight tastes like it's very sweet with a slight hint of caramel and it's like a texture between jello and marshmallow and it's like kind of like taffy I see. Right? But most uh, Turkish Delight has a rosé flavor to it, but hmm. I've seen. Because I know rose water is used in uh, the creation of baklava as well, which I tried to make. Yeah. Why couldn't I? I've, I've always wanted to make it. I've never ate it personally, but like I want to make like a strawberry one, right? Because I don't want rosé. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but um... Or a lemon one. That would be cool. I don't know why I wasted that tinderbox. Tinderboxes aren't really useful unless you're like, oh, there's just a straight ass hole in this castle. <gasps> you can see the sky! Yeah. That's nice. Got a really long grappling hook and just. <laughs> oh, yeah, like it's fucking GTFO or something. <laughs> I gotta play that on stream again. That game's great. Never I've played. played it. It's really good. It's a, it's a fun co op horror shooter. Um, I've played the game that, like, the first game that these developers made here, uh, Penumbra Overture. I played it with Spiral Galaxy. Um, 
I have Your not played. Your hand does not look like a hand. It was 2009, all right. <laughs> it's like a little gnome. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've I've never finished this. I've beaten Penumbra Overture. I haven't beaten Penumbra uh, Black Plague. That one's a bit too spoopy for me. Um, the Penumbra oh, Overture was a little bit easier to play. But yeah, Overture was easier to play because like you could fight back. In this game, you can't. It's a little bit. Hard to deal with. Yeah, this is kind of questionable for 2009. Doing? Yo, what's the dog doing? Welcome on in, Beck. How you doing, boss? We uh, had to switch course tonight because uh, Call of Cthulhu was too broken for it. It wasn't even a Slavic game and it was still too broken. So yeah, your lamp has limited oil, by the way. In the place of, like, uh, flashlight batteries, you have lantern oil. Which kind of sucks. But I need light. <laughs> I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything. Ah, I see. Consume this drink. Oh, oh fuck! I skipped something. Berg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. The shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, mm. Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Hold on. Former self, Daniel. Huh? Huh. So Daniel talks to Daniel. Also. Computer? Also, my zooms don't appear to be working. Hold up. Okay, that was weird. Now they work. Alright. The, the the game zooms weren't even working. Hey, everything's getting all fucked up after Call of Cthulhu. So <laughs> um here we go. Here we go. Uh so what happened is we play, we're playing as a character named Daniel. He's done some bad shit, so he made himself forget. But he's been he's been fucked with, or something something bad was done to him by a character named Alexander of Brennenburg. Um, he is the owner of this castle we find ourselves in, Castle Brennenburg. We have to go down to where he is, at the bottom, the very base of the fucking castle, and beat his ass. That's, that's our objective in this game. Hey. It kind of, once you kind of know how the game works, you don't really get scared in a lot of areas because you know that, like, nothing's going to happen. But there's still some moments, you know. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. It, these weird, these weird intro crawls that you get every time you go through a door, I don't remember what the fuck they're supposed to be about. This, this game is very, very Lovecraftian, but it doesn't have, like, it doesn't follow the Cthulhu mythos. So it ends up being a lot more interesting, because it has, like, a universe all of its own. I like it. Mm. Ah, that's bright. The voice acting is questionable, but this was made by indie devs in 2009, so I'll let it slide. Alexander is voiced really well, though. It's the older guy you're hearing here. Who voiced this guy? In fact, uh, I can look it up. Hold up. Brennenberg. Brennenberg. Amnesia, Dirk, Saint, Alexander. What's his last name? Uh, he doesn't really have one. Sam A. Maori. Okay. Here we go, I found him. I don't know who that is. <laughs> he was in a bunch of games, uh... They go all the way to the bottom. Um, do I recognize any of this? He was in Sly 2, Band of Thieves. <gasps> Who did he do? Uh, Arpeggio. Ooh, I did not recognize him. He was also wow. Dr. Hmm? Sorry. 
I'm just saying, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was Dr. Richard Eminis in Penumbra Requiem, uh, Kessler in Infamous. He plays Rost in League of Legends. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's in Dota 2 and Neverwinter. He's in a lot of MOBAs, I see. He's definitely got a voice for that. Um, so, like, Arpeggio is a character who has a higher voice, hmm. right? So it's really surprising for me. He's like a little, like, nervous bird, right? And so I'm just like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Brent says I'm going to go broke. Sorry, yo. Hope it gets better. I'm sure you'll be all right. Um, what else? It was an artifact as well, which is a game nobody talked about after it came out. That's about all I can see. He was also in Star Trek Online. I don't know what the fuck that is. All right. Also, I'm noticing pretty immediately the FOV. I could just look up tutorials on YouTube and treat myself. I'd say be careful about that. All right. So we're in here. Star Trek Online. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? I think we're supposed to go in there. The lady. Laboratory. I played that so much as a kid. Ah. Locked. Will not open without a key. I figured as much. Ah, I can go into the laboratory. Experiment on the people. <laughs> oh God, God, don't even, <laughs> don't even fucking say that yet. <laughs> it's like, it's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised I got through Observer the other night so easily, or at least most of it. Oh no, spooky noises. Are you scared yet? No, I'm not. Oh. Cockroaches. Oh, yeah, they're cockroaches and rats. Are those... No, it looks like rotten food. See, look, this looks nice and comfy now. This is this is a place where people can hang out. That's not good. Runo says, good morning, I hate drinking. Fair enough. Good to see you, Runo. How you doing today? Oh, I want to drink. <laughs> Get some water, yo. I have water. Call of Cthulhu malfunction? Call of Cthulhu did malfunction. Call of Cthulhu everything. malfunctioned harder than it ever could. It <laughs> fucked up my audio inputs. There should be more coop rats. Let me see. And one part aquaports. Why is my guy getting so freaked out? He's just like hearing somebody talk about his chemistry lesson. I almost lost an eyebrow last night. Oh shit, yo, hope you're all right. Here we go. Chemistry pot. Damn, they shower on me in fire. Just throw the fucking chair across the room. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Halamine and orp orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. Means I acid. might. Huh? It means acid. It is. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemic solution to my predicament. That makes sense later, what he's talking about. For, for now, his accidental creation is what we have to make. Because we got to make acid. Also, looking into these saves your game. One day I'll return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. A lust for power and without restraint where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. I don't know who that's supposed to be from the point of view of. Um, the This series itself had a sequel that came out a couple, like, three or so years later called Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. It was written by the people that made Dear Esther. It was terrible. Do not fucking play it. So you're like, is Dear Esther any good? 
I like Dear Esther. Dear Esther, I thought was a fantastic story with really good music and really good art style. I've heard, um, like, I've heard like slight bits. I know nothing about the game. It's but. kind of just like a novella that you like get read to you while you walk around an island. Oh. But it's it's a really good like it's just a really cool kind of like game to sort of experience. I think it's worth playing. I will always I defend it. it. I think it slaps. Uh, but the problem is the developers are definitely not horror developers. Um, because when they were... They were when, trying to make it scary? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, and... Um, how do I put this? Dear Esther had genuinely creepy moments. Because all over the game, you can find ghosts. Uh, they you, you will, like, sometimes look off in the distance and see somebody standing on a cliff or, like, off in the distance in a field and like they'll just kind of walk away somewhere or you'll see them inside of a cave you'll see a lantern or if you look footsteps. in like a, a puddle of yeah i heard footsteps if you look in a puddle in like on the beach you'll see a reflection of somebody uh but when you look up they're not there and dear esther has creepy moments but the chinese room which is the developers of that game they're not good at making horror horror so when frictional sat them down and said here you guys can make the next amnesia game they fucked it up bad <laughs> um they could not write a uh, an actually like uh, like in, like in captivating story for the life of them. It was really flaccid and it it read like bad erotica. Maddie, Maddie, what's Maddie. up? Maddie, what's Runo? Runo, can we get a shout out for Maddie, please? Thank you. How's my favorite combat made and sheep detective? We had to fucking uh, shit can the game we were gonna play earlier because it broke my setup. So we're playing this old this old classic. No, Runo, do it. Do it. do it, Runo. Do it. <laughs> do, it do it or do it or I play fucking PT Doom on stream or some shit. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> it's it's. Do you remember PT? No. Oh. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I'll explain it in a bit. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes. Also, how are you doing, my favorite Android maid? Runo, why? <laughs> Runo's just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are strained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine Move them to the wine cellar. Yandere maid will appear now. Do it, you won't. Y Yandere Maddie toggle win. <laughs> oh, Yandere Maddie toggle. I want to do like monolith Sasha toggle. That'll be cool. I'll probably pay extra I, to do it. I want to get a toggle for my model that's like an evil toggle, right? But I don't know Ooh. what I want to do for it, right? And Honestly, I have no idea, right? <laughs> pulls out the knife. You put that away. You didn't sign it out, Maddie. And I'm looking for ideas. So if anyone ever has ideas, send them to me. <laughs> I'll send you some later. Maddie, yeah. you're supposed to sign that knife out. Did you sign it out? Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. What the fuck? <sighs> Fucking pulls out knife, smile. Look at Jesus Maddie Christ. smiling. That's so nice. So Such cute. A smile. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> My God. She's gonna cook us a meal. <laughs> yeah. Such a lovely girl she is. But um. <laughs> PT was that game everyone was talking about in twenty uh, like twenty fourteen, uh, the game where it's like in the hallway and shit, and the, and the radio, and all the spooky shit. It was cool, um, but somebody ever since like Konami like got rid of it, um, and said fuck you, you're not allowed to play it anymore. People have been remaking it in other engines. Um, I downloaded a, a remake of it in the Unreal Engine before Konami took it down like a day what? later. PT the one that like goes in circles and it yeah. keeps getting scared. Oh. Yeah, it was a, it was a play. It's, it stands for playable teaser because it was like. I was excited like a... to see them finish it, but they never did, right? Uh, PT itself is finished because it's just, it's meant to be a proof of concept for a game that Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro were working on, and Junji Ito was going to be involved in it too. But the actual game that PT was supposed to be a teaser for never actually entered development. That's what I was hoping like they would get to but they never nah. know. Nah. Junji Ito didn't even really uh get to start any creature designs. Maddie says lockout, tag out and weapon sign outs do not apply to me. Sasha, you know the art? I'm afraid I don't. Why don't you fill me in, Maddie? Knives says hi hi, we'll be here lurking while reading. Wonderful to see you, Knives. Uh 
Thanks for coming on down. Uh, Runo, can we get a shout out for Knives as well? She slaps. She drew that picture recently uh, of fucking me as Ina from the Ina series, and I cannot stop looking at it because I'm just, I'm so happy to see it. I'm like, oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> I haven't felt like that about art in so fucking long. Oh, wait, hold up. What happens if we just try to leave through the front door? Never tried it. Oh, no, I have, but uh, you haven't seen it. So remember how Daniel uh, said in his note to himself that something called a shadow is chasing us? Yeah. That's kind of the main, like, villain of the game, is that somehow in, in, in the commission of his existence, uh, Daniel has managed to come under the watchful eye of some kind of Lovecraftian guardian uh, that now wants to erase him and, uh, like, you know, destroy him. Uh, because he accidentally touched some kind of artifact, and we'll see that later. And it looks like this. <laughs> yep, it's gross as fuck. Also, look at these roaches. Roach, roach. Check Discord. Alright, give me a second. Normally, I don't do it on stream for obvious reasons, but I'll make an exception for you, darling. Give me a second. Ah, uh, bleh. In the dark room with the oh, light fuck. going through Ooh. the ceiling. I don't know the art, but I do now. I want to <laughs> see. <laughs> let me let me just uh <clears throat> I'm interested in this. I'll send you in a second, uh L Lana. Or I'm sure Maddie can send it to you. Yandere made. Maddie, Maddie. I'm Maddie. I'm less Yandere, I'm more just <laughs> evil. I can't tear this with my hand or tools. If you touch it, it hurts you, by the way. Just crawl through it. There's like a space at the bottom. Look Shut at up, that. Lana. No, you don't You don't know that. <laughs> Ooh. Maddie's like, oh no, Yandere made. I bet it's scary. And I'm like, I, I am now I am now excited and happy. I mean, I'm just like, it looks cool. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Well, the only place we can go now, other than the fucking uh, wine cellar, which is locked. Oh is the old archives. Somebody actually made a whole Amnesia Minecraft mod. Really? The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his- oh my god, he beat the shit out of someone with a rock. A victim with a rock? I'll see about an eventual Yandere Maid toggle. I've said it before on some of my streams, but um... Uh, I'm thinking of getting, uh, maybe commissioning for my... Oh, wait, I can't say that. Never mind. Well, I'm, th I'm thinking about commissioning for my artist a, like, toggle where I have an outfit of the monolith who, uh, for, for a little bit of backstory, Lana, is a, uh, a, a faction of people brainwashed by a Soviet mind control device in the Chernobyl zone. And, mm -hmm. um, they, they, they worship the Chernobyl plant and they try to kill anybody that gets too close of it, like, close to it. Yeah. And they, like, look really kind of, like, lifeless, and they talk really monotone, and they are, like, insanely fanatical. So I'm like, oh, what if I got, like, Monolith Sasha? I'd, I'd get, like, the white urban camo, and it looks super cool. 16th of May, Maybe some, like, uh, eyes without, like, you know, iris or pupils, so just, like, white eyes. Mm -hmm. It's, like, the ideas I had for, like, the... Maddie says, just wait to hear about my plan toggles. Ooh. Leading to a sand covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought. And ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. All right. So, much like how a lot of Lovecraftian stories start, old Daniel here was on some kind of, uh, archaeological expedition in the deserts of Africa and it looks like he found something. Uh -huh. 
Metis is especially my Halloween 20th to 2023 plan toggle. There's lore involved. Ooh, nice. I never planned that far ahead. Oh, I would love to be playing that far ahead. Bro, it's darker than a bitch in here. I originally planned on making my evil toggle for October, and then I never came up with an idea fast enough, so... Oh, eh. yeah. Honestly, <laughs> probably good to not force these kinds of things and just let them come, I feel. But, um... I was thinking of, like, a, uh... Like, you know how, like, this shadowed over kind of face kind of thing? And, like, an evil kind of, like, grin? Did you hear something? Right. I'm listening. I like no. her chatter. 17th of May, 1839. Continue, sorry. But yeah, like an right. evil grin and just like crazed right. eyes of some kind. I just don't know what. Hmm. <laughs> Today, I took some men and ventured. Game is a little quiet. That's weird. All right, let me turn it up to negative nine. She's burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. When it comes to art and stuff, I need to plan that far ahead. That's fair. I definitely should have planned further ahead for my Halloween thing, but you know, like, or not my Halloween, my Hotline Miami thing, but it's all right. And yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. I didn't expect to hit 200 as fast as I did. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. <clears throat> the walls were lined with statues. So he went into that tomb in Algeria. Seen. Despite oh. their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. Can't wait for the check mark next to your name. Oh god, yeah, no, fuck that. Of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. <laughs> I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. <clears throat> okay, so Daniel got trapped in a fucking Algerian tomb. That's actually kind of terrifying. We'll have to read further to figure out what happened to him. He ate the shrooms. No, 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 he did not do that. <laughs> I'm gonna try and avoid my instinct to light these lights because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be coming back here. Hey. Is it bad to light things? Do you hear that? Yes, piano. Okay. Well, uh I want you to just take note of that. Is it bad the lighting you were asking? Yes, to um, light things. No, the light is good, uh, but your light sources are limited there. So I try to save it for only areas I'm going to actually be sticking around in. Because um, once we're done with this section, we're going to be leaving and that's it. The laboratory I'm going to be staying in for a little bit. Uh, the wine cellar, not so much. Local history. Ah! The piano was being played. Well. Oh. Oh no, spooky noise, but there's nothing over here. Oh. Well, the piano's closed, so it shouldn't be playing. Right? The piano just likes to talk. It's just like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> hmm. I gotta admit. Uh. It's been long enough since I've played this, and I usually just make other people play it, and I watch and I fuck with them. It's, uh. Hey, Lana? Yes. I think I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. I and can talk is. I could talk a big game and say that this game isn't as spooky anymore. It still is. <laughs> it still is. Is it something about like old timey horror that's more scary to me? Hey, wait a minute. It just has social anxiety piano. 
That's a wholesome way of looking at it, honestly. <laughs> Whoa. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start. Also, I don't have my dog with me in my room anymore since my mom's finally home, so I all I have to keep me safe is fucking anime and my TV. Aw, Atto. Yeah, he's just looking at me like, what do you want? <laughs> what a silly creature. Alright, so the castle's falling apart. That doesn't inspire confidence, Alexander. It says, okay, that is fucking annoying because it's fragile but not breakable by hand. If you just keep tapping it, it breaks. What? <laughs> yeah, it, it's it that confuses a lot of players for the first time. All right, look at all the tinder boxes I'm saving up. It's like if you keep breaking it, therefore it breaks up by hand. <clears throat> yes. Oh, oh, we read the note. Now we're getting fucked up. He's like, I don't like the note. <laughs> Oh, here we go. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity. Damn, I wish I was getting pounded for an eternity. <laughs> I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting. For me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow glow? escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking Spirit it away! <laughs> I like that movie. Endless deserts and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So, he, he went, he got trapped in an Algerian tomb. He found some kind of weird artifact and accidentally broke it. And when he touched it, it transported him to another fucking world. That's cool as shit, but um, he, he's he is unfortunately now marked, uh, and he's he's fucked for life because of it. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Is it all Might as well start using some of these. Excessive? You can never be too careful. Oh, hey, we got another note. Also, I just noticed your reactive image blinks. That's fucking adorable. Yes. It blink and it opens his mouth and everything. My, mine is just me holding a blunt. Another <laughs> region rich with lore is Alstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep repeating. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty, the 30 Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can then be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Maddie says I'm falling asleep at my desk. I'm gonna go pass out. Alright, sleep well, Maddie. Mwah. Maddie has this thing in her string called Comfy. Which is command, which is she puts on every time someone falls asleep in her stream. Oh my god. <laughs> Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstad at the start of the 16th century. Oh my god. I should add that. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked... Fortnight? 
Fortnite? Fortnite? Fortnite Battle Pass? $19 Fortnite card. As he looked for remnants of the of Kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Allstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who is this mysterious man who visited a sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Allstadt, and like most of the noble birth, rumors are inherited along with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the same as the one who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. So this is, um, this is some lore. This game takes place in, like, the 19th century, so sometime in the 1800s, if I remember correctly, like, early 1800s. Um, we are in a castle in Prussia, which is, like, this, this European state. I can't remember exactly where it is. Um, this part about the gatherers, um, everything in this fucking note is actual foreshadowing. Now that I've played the game and I realize that, it's crazy. I mean, my brain's like, that's a lot of information. <laughs> it is. I haven't actually read a book in a long ass time, but I do find myself able to pretty easily just kind of like, like glide through game stuff. Oh yeah, the piano's playing. Socially anxious piano. <laughs> Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would in a sense solve both of my problems. Oh no, spooky noise. That's why that closet's there. It's there to make you think you're in danger. Now watch, check this out. Oh no, it's a wow. monster. But watch, if I follow him. Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> that section used to scare me to death back in the day. Um, but uh, it's actually nothing. It's also going to play, as soon as I walk through this corridor, it's going to play the sound of a monster you can, like, that hunts you in-game. But it's not going to be there. Watch. Oh no! Spooky noise, but nothing's there. Because this game is ten years old and I know it. And the piano's playing again. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. Oh, God damn it! That's the problem with having a computer that loads shit really fast. If you put your fucking, like, load, like, your lore behind loading screens, people with good computers are never going to be able to read it. Health, all is good. Alright, so. Um, let's see here. Um, for, for, to, to catch up anybody who's watching... Uh, we've got a, a local paper that reports uh, incidents of horrible, horrific revenants, which is, I think, like a, a like a an old word for like somebody who's returned from the dead. So we've got people that look like fucking zombies that apparently go around in the woods and fucking capture people in burlap sacks. Um, You're brain dead. <laughs> yeah, and we've got a report from the actual baron of the castle claiming that his servants are fucking around in the woods and have attracted the attention of the local sheriff. So, those two things seem to imply that these people are one and the same. Now, some of the servants that Alexander claims are causing him too much trouble have been locked up in the wine cellar where those ingredients are. So, we've got a hell of a show awaiting us when we get there, huh? So Let's like, see, I guess. 
If they cause him trouble, couldn't we technically use those against him? What do you mean by that? I mean, he locked them away, so wouldn't they want him dead? Well, let's see. You hold quite a bit of faith that the people he've lo he's locked in this wine cellar are even still people anymore. Ah, uh, probably not. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that whole zombie thing. <laughs> Those zombies. You'll see. Huh. Well, speak. Ah, uh, here we go. Fallon. Good night. Okay. So, yeah, he did say he was just gonna give him a ton of wine in the wine cellar. He's like, oh, I'll just fucking get him drunk as shit. Hey, Vex, what's up? Welcome on in. How are you doing tonight? No. I will admit I'm getting a little bit spooked by this 10 year old game. Oh. Yo, there's something in there. If an enemy is near. Turn off your lantern and sneak! Wow! What? Don't these doors lead to the same place? Yes. Oh no! Look out! It's a monster! Do you see him? Yeah! He's like rubbing his face like, Oh my gosh, I can't do this! A medical bracer to improve health and help heal wounds. What's actually in laudanum? Is there like something really bad for you? Vex is I'm doing good. Sure See, we're going for a I'm fun classic. <laughs> laudanum. It is an alcoholic solution containing morphine. It's prepared from opium and formerly used as a narcotic painkiller. So it's basically a painkiller. Oh, yeah, it is just a painkiller. He's just gonna so, stand there. Too much I, of that. You did. <laughs> yeah. I tried showing this game to a partner, and the motherfucker just wouldn't leave the corner. And it, like, got, like, I don't know. It was, like, awkward because it, like, stopped being scary because it was just, like, can you fucking leave already? Okay, those are the footsteps. I think he's leaving. That's Do you like hear that, crunching. like, noise, by the way? Yeah, the crunching. Yeah, that's our character grinding his teeth. Ugh. Are you gonna fucking leave yet, dude? Can you just fucking leave already, man? I remember this section being really fast. This isn't really a fun classic because this section kind of sucks. Is he gonna leave? Runus is gonna lurk from bed, need some more rest. No worries, we'll be here. Oh my god. This shit doesn't end. Oh, he's leaving finally. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. If your Sandy drops all the way to the bottom, you like black out and this happens. You also start hallucinating sounds, by the way. Fun. Oh no. Rocks. I think whatever was in here is gone. I don't think he's coming back. We should start looking for what we need. Well, here's all the wine they drank. As my cat literally scares the daylights out of me, dear God. <laughs> Head is pounding and hands are shaking. By the way, when your Sandy gets as worse as it can get, um, the icon for it just says, like, ellipsis, like, dot, dot, dot. Do we have what we need? There's, like, three ingredients we need, right? 
Ugh. Spoopy. Oh no. Spooprite. You hear that spooky noise? Oh, it's wow. nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> so the monster that was in... Growling. <laughs> oh. Me too. The cool thing about the sanity system... Oh. There it is. <laughs> We're fucked. The cool thing about the sanity system in this game is that it actually affects the environment to a degree. Um... Oh my god, this is kind of unbearable. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, you big fucking baby. I guess I gotta turn this lantern on until you start feeling better about yourself, don't I? In the meantime... Here we go. We'll fill it up. Um, so there are, like, actual aspects of the environment that change. Paintings, uh, things will start to appear that normally aren't there if your sanity starts to drop too low. Um, there are games that do sanity effects better. A good example being Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, which is an old GameCube Lovecraftian horror game, which I've heard a lot of good things about. Not a lot of good things about its developer who went on to make a game called Too Human that, uh, got pretty badly lambasted. I think we've got all the ingredients, don't we? Uh, Me. That's how you can tell. The teeth are chattering again. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Oh, the lantern went out. All right, unfortunately, we have to move all this shit. Why is it... Vex is still trying to think of what else. We still use laudanum to this day. Hold up, wait, can I just... Uh, how about if I move this? Ah, okay. Here we go. Gotta, like, shove it. We still use laudanum to this day, like a ton of medicine back in the olden times. Laudanum had either lead or mercury in it, which would actually cause hallucinations, psychotic episodes, and, of course, death. Yup. And then there were the poor bastards who got treated for shit with radium. That was not good. You didn't want that. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers lost their whole jaws because of that. One second, the cat wants help. No worries. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Hurry and back. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Hard to say? Mm -mm. Exploded. Oh my God. Wilhelm, do something. Except it. We're not getting out of here. Right. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit. Let us out. So Alexander poisoned his men when he locked them down here. Um, the implication is that that creature we saw over there is that also... That's brain. That a big brain. I want to look into the game's code and figure out how its systems work. Modding Stalker has made me understand how its, like, ambient soundscape is built. Like... Knowing that it just has a giant folder of ambient sounds that play, uh, or are coded to play every, like, five seconds or so. Here, I wonder what codes those, like, uh, I wonder what code, like, decides when and how those, like, footstep sound effects play. Because I actually got into modding this game. I actually at one point had downloaded the mod kit and tried to make my own little map in it. I gave up pretty fast, but it was still a cool thing to try out. I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession, and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenberg. 
as most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed Knight of the Order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and resumed upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their god-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer- Ah, uh, yeah, this guy died. This guy super died. He also got turned into a monster. Ooh. Yeah, like, I was gonna say, like, because of, like, the modding thing, once you start to really learn a game's inner workings, it definitely doesn't scare you as much as well. Like, just kind of knowing, oh, yeah, you know, that's the, uh, that's the, the sound that's coded to play here, or that's an enemy that just kind of appears but can't attack the you. The trigger effect, the this, the that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, flags and shit. <laughs> the desert. Ah, uh, the desert. Oh, shit. Speck says, desert. It was bad, but you still gotta remember that stuff like that is even further back. Wounds are treated by having dogs lick them, blindness was cured rubbing literal shit in them, and can't remember, but ancient Greeks put people to sleep and cut their heads off to treat something, sewed the head back on, and decided if the patient died, it was the will of the gods. Jesus. Oh, yeah. also, flesh happened while I was reading that. Hmm. I've had steak that looks like this. It's pretty good. Ouch. <laughs> it didn't bite me like that, though. I hope your steak doesn't bite you. I want to make steak again. It's fucking tasty. <laughs> he sat down by the Casbah wall, gasping for air. Oh, Jesus. See, look, it turned out to be a good thing that I did this because I'm coming back here and it's a nice little comfy place where I can set up my base of operations. Also oh, reminds me of like oil. a medical treatment they used to do for uh, seizures. Oh boy, oh, yeah? there's a lot of fun ones for those. Oh yeah. Um, one of them, they would uh, drill a hole at a spot uh, of the brain. Jesus. Thinking, oh yeah, this would help it. It's like, yeah, but that's gonna kind of kill you eventually. Um, not immediately, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Some crazy stuff. Oh, uh, while stuff. I was putting the ingredients in, everything collapsed. Look what you did. You blew out my fucking precious candles, you bitch. They just went, Oh, it's my turn to blow out the candles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is kind of cool. You use the, use the physics to make a little shit Ooh. like that. See, the original, the first game that these developers ever did uh, was literally just a tech demo for their physics engine, which is uh, called the Newton engine, if I remember correctly. Mary Burfmas. Vex has SCP-610. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. What's that? Uh, that's the Plague Doctor SCP, right? Hex. <laughs> what was that noise? Me coughing. Oh, okay. It sounded weird. It sounded like something in game because it was loud enough and it freaked me the fuck out. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Oh, hey. If you look down here, you can see a monster that appears later in the game. That's the flesh that hates. Oh, okay. I remember that one vaguely. Alright, turn on the Bunsen burner. Oh, 
Oh no, the shadow doesn't like that I'm making acid, I guess. Out of acid. Vex, what's the flesh that hates? I don't remember ex exactly about it. Albert, who was a big SCP fan, has told me a little bit about it, but I can't... Like Dr. Rizzo 49. Oh, I see. I know nothing about the SCPs, so I'm just like, I don't know what they do. I don't know what they are. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of them. There's a fucking lot of them. Most of them pretty scary. <clears throat> Isn't there like a cute one or something? <laughs> There's a few of them. All oh, right, the flesh. Ah, the flesh. This is reminding me of that one time I was playing fucking um, a few cuts and breezes. I see. Almost eats the acid. <laughs> yeah. The time I was playing Dying Light and we just like saw like a, a bunch of gore and we were like, yo, was that just meat? And then like we just kept like saying things about meat for the whole game and it was just fucking stupid. Yo, yo, Sasha, you remember the meat? I'm like, yes, game. This I remember the meat. looks like jelly jam. What, the, the flesh? Yeah. Just old jelly jam. <laughs> SCP-999 is the cute blob monster known as the Tickle Monster. I see. Wait, doesn't this lead to the refinery? Oh, I fucking hate the refinery. God, no! Oh, man. After enduring three days in the Algiers, the sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Hortensia headed for London. London! I wish I could do accents, because I would do it, but I cannot. <laughs> it sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. Oh, my well, lamp needs to People think I have a European accent, which is really funny. Oh yeah, we were talking about that, I think. I'm just like, I sound European? <laughs> Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Thanks for not answering my question, dipshit. By the way, there's a level in this game called the storage, which I absolutely... Uh-oh. Which I absolutely fucking hate. And I shit you not... In the actual, like, journals you can find, it straight up tells you that, like, the darkness in there is legitimately unnatural. What do you mm. mean there's enemies near? Like, like, it's legitimately, like, there. it's so dark that it's not supposed to be that dark. I don't know if you saw him, but I did. I saw something move, but I couldn't see what it was. Was it actually a monster, though? If the music's playing, usually that means, but... Oh, the music just stopped. All right. If the music's not playing, that means there's not a monster nearby. I think. I'm not sure if, like, I, I can't remember if the monster theme just means that it's actually alert and, like, hunting. And then there's... If, do you know... Do you remember the fucking music that plays in this game when a monster spots you? Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> Me too. Twenty second of June, okay. eighteen thirty nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb 
wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Hmm. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Weird. Vex says the flesh that hates is a, uh, a pretty interesting read. It's a skin disease that's isolated in Russia that turns victims into fleshy monsters that's only goal is to spread and kill. However, they're supposed to be intelligent ones that worship some kind of goddess. I see. Uh, I don't fuck with this area at all, to be honest. Uh-oh. That door's ajar. I really hate this music. Me too. Lantern's now fully refilled. Aha! I see what I need to do. This is gonna summon a monster, isn't it? The rope, the rope won't pull the hatch open. Something must be clocking the pulley. Aha! I got you now. Watch this. Oh. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> Well, there's not going to be any monsters in this corridor. Oh, no, the cellar archives. Is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Hold up. Dark Atlantic water smothered him. Wham! <laughs> yup. I knew it. Oh, that's spooky. Hey, Lana. Hmm? Can we, can we take a break, dude? Yeah, take a break. Can take we a take break. a break? Let's take, take a, a break. break. Yeah. Yeah, we're, I'm not gonna take a tea break, but I'm definitely gonna take a break. So we'll be right the fuck back, fellas. Don't go anywhere. I'm. That's I, I promise I'm not just doing this because I'm actually kind of starting to get scared. Like every time I play these horror games, right? I made sure to mostly play games this month that weren't gonna be that scary or were games that I've already played. This, despite being one that I've played, was like something I've played so long ago that I've forgotten all of like the actual details of it. I'm I'm getting kind of scared. I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> all right, we will be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Hey everybody, we are back. Um, hope y'all had a uh, good break. Um, I I did. I got up. I got myself some coffee. I'm uh, ready to go. Um, so Lana, what do you think of Amnesia so far? It is spooky, and they have a social anxiety piano. Oh my god, we're, we're done with the piano, Lana. We're not going to see that anymore. <laughs> I know, but it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It it is it is a it is a cool little thing that they added, yeah. Um I um I I, I it's it's just crazy that like it's been so long since I've played this game that like I've forgotten most of its inner workings, so it's still scary to me. <clears throat> I love how it was I went in and I was like, oh you know, it's it's good it's, it's an old game, it's not that scary, you know, it's kinda overhyped like, by like PewDiePie. Laughing, thinking, <clears throat> oh we're gonna scare Lana and you're like, oh wait, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I made a mistake. I made some soda stream bubbly. Ooh, nice. Um, so, uh, real quick, uh, I just want to uh, remind everybody that my co-host is Lana Wolsby. Here is her uh, Twitch right down there. Go give her a follow, Lana. For uh, new people who joined since you uh, since we started, want to give a quick rundown on who you are and what you do. Yes, yes, yes. I am Nana Woodsby. I'm a detective sheep. I usually am supposed to be on a case, but typically I am uh, distracted. I am quite often called a mediocre detective because I uh, am more interested in uh, video games and other things because they're frankly quite more interesting to me. So I, I eventually get the cases done, you know, after af after the game, you know, but yeah. <laughs> more interesting than murders? Sometimes. I mean, sometimes if the murder is more interesting, I might do it. <laughs> right. I, I, I see. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, go give Lana a follow. She's awesome. Um, I think let's head. Oh, oh, by the way, I just want to remind everybody uh, it's Halloween season. Um, I do have a throne that I recently established at the start of the month. Um, I have a lot of tasty candy up there, so if you ever want to get me something tasty and sweet for Halloween, um, I've got some things on there. Uh, Pocky, popcorn balls, uh, tasty candy, all sorts of nice stuff. Um, you can use the uh, command exclamation point throne to access it, as well as using the command exclamation point commands to see other types of commands. Uh, like links to my bar playlist that you're listening to right now and a bunch of other cool stuff Just uh, keep an eye on that So I am ready to go back in. How about you? <laughs> this section is one that a lot of people stated was one of the scariest in the game. I don't feel like that I think it's a nice change of pace. It's frantic. Oh wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Up. Oh, yep, I knew it. I knew it yeah, people people stated this game was the scare. This is, this section was in the scariest. This I gotta turn this audio down. This is the Karen. Um, it, it's it's actually it's literally just an anagram of Kraken. It's a water monster, and that's what we're currently dealing with. So this is a big section of the floor is lava. That's literally what it is. <laughs> You don't get to see it. Only when it moves. Oh no, it's so spooky. <laughs> you see, anytime people play this game, they're like, Oh no, it's such a horrifying- Okay, Splish, those are sploosh. bones, though. It's just the sploosh monster, yeah. It's really sweet. It's just like, look at me, it's bashing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, though. Um... The fucking, uh, what's funny is there's a level like this in The Evil Within, and it's marginally more, like, it's marginally worse, but just because it's, like, more frustrating. Vex says, while y'all were gone, I looked up SCP-610 and found the images they use on the official website if you want to look at it. They're a bit disturbing, even though you can tell it's a homemade diorama, so didn't want us to just send them without permission. Yeah, you can send them to me DMs if you want, or if you want, you can, uh, just comment them under the stream, uh, tweet that I posted. If I remember correctly, you can throw stuff to distract it, which is cool. He's just a silly little water guy. He's just a sploosh around. See, look, watch. Look at this dude. 
Alas, poor Yurik. See? It loves flesh. Oh, even moving the boxes and jumping on them still brings it to you. Okay, I do have to hurry up because I have a limited amount of oil, so I can't just fuck around forever. It's just the floor is lava. I see, I have to go back and hit that lever again. I didn't get here fast enough. But you were so fast. I, I spent like five minutes dicking around in that side room. Sent it on Discord, steal yourself. Um, if it's bad enough as that, then you might want to give it a spoiler tag just for me. Thanks. Okay, now I gotta hurry. Look how effortlessly I've mastered this game's movement. Go! Oh, thank God. But there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes flesh, so... I'll give him all the flesh he wants. See, look, he's fucking chowing on it. I'm gonna grab this leg, just to be sure. Ah, I see, I see. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Also, you don't get to move any of these boxes here. Okay, here we go. Oh, this takes so fucking stupid long, man. Okay, never mind. This section's kind of spooky. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I don't think it knows where I am. Oh, here it comes. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. Don't forget it. Forgot about that. Don't DM on Discord a lot. That's fair. Okay, wait. Alright, go chomp on this. I have to wait for him to actually start eating it. Oh, god damn it. I might have fucked myself. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! If only you could fucking see how fast I'm moving my mouse right now. I'm getting nervous just watching. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright, that got my blood pumping. That was that's, that's a cool little segment. The fuck is this? A hollow needle. Play the drugs. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank God, no. You cut some bruises, I'll live. It's locked with a simple lock. What What do you mean? With a needle. Needle. Pick lock. Oh. Oh, wow. You're right. <laughs> Something brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried as the ocean swallowed him again. Ah, oh, more of this shit. It's a swimming pool. Look at it. <laughs> yup. Yup. Oh, well, we're in hard mode now. Gotta stand on the barrels and shit. 
<laughs> Fuck me sideways, man. This sucks. I'm getting so good at closing these doors behind me. I'm not even bothering to look behind me, bruh. Back call. Here we go. <sighs> he felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The lacquered hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing, warm, yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean reaching towards the coast of Portugal and thought, is this another dream? I don't understand any of this fucking game, bruh. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> oh, this is nice music. Oh, this is much nicer. Look at the lights! Hey, that's the, uh, that's the Order of the Black Eagle. Eagle. Oh, this is calming. Oh. What was that? This is, this is definitely a room where you know you can't be hurt. Legs. Oh look, you can splash in the water. <laughs> it's really nice they added that. I already feel better. Lantern's You're getting like, low. Yeah, we're sorry for traumatizing you with water. Here's some calming water. <laughs> yeah, for real though. <laughs> everything. Yeah, and it's got dragon wings and a horrible Centipede dragon body baby and a horrible face baby face. <laughs> okay then, give me a second. What did Vex sent me? Oh, Vex, it's not that bad. It just looks like a John Carpenter movie. All right. Well, that door blowing open seems to imply that I should head there next, right? Oh. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It Regent's takes Park. The gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. <clears throat> Showed this to a friend a while back and they said it gave them nightmares. Eh. Alright, well, an elevator. It's that easy, right? Elevators are not a good thing. <laughs> eh, of course it wouldn't be that easy. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. This section is gonna be a while. The machine room is locked. Locked. See, there's not much of a point in using tinder... Like, here's the thing. The lanterns that you can put tinder boxes in are not really there for gameplay. They're just kind of there because they're places where you'd think there would be lanterns. So, nine times out of ten, you don't have to just light every lantern or, like, candle or torch you see. Um, obviously, the ones that are in here, it is not advantageous to light because there's plenty of light in here and I don't have to worry about it. Also, there's not any monsters. So... Uh-oh. Wait, hold up. Is this Does this go to where I think it does? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going in there, no. Not going in there. Fuck that. Not today. <laughs> no. I... Th there are very few... There, I, I can count on a couple of hands the areas in Amnesia that definitely scare me. The wine cellar is the scariest of the earlier levels. The storage, fuck that. Then you got the prison, and then there's the fucking torture chambers. Yeah, there's torture chambers in this game, and when you have low sanity, they're so much fucking worse. The study, I like this area. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple, and pondered on the strange happenings. This area is okay. 
I used to have the uh, the fucking brightness turned all the way up. I used to play this game in study hall, like in school. Like in class, I'd be at the back of class fucking playing this game on my laptop with my headphones in. I would be too scared. <laughs> I used to have ways to get around it. I used to listen to like power metal and shit like Hammerfall to make it like easier to bear. This is Trauma! Ah, Trauma, is this one of your friends, Lana? Yes! Well, come on in, Trauma, welcome. Have They like to throw things at me. They do like <laughs> to throw things at you. I should get yeah. tits integrated into my stuff, that would be cool. <laughs> oh, I broke it. Whoops. How are you doing today? Right. This level I know for a fact there's no monsters in. I think. Biblia. Look, you can even see outside. Dude, that's the, that's the fucked up thing about amnesia, is that even if you could escape, you don't want to because it's not going to do any good. It's not going to make you safe. It's going to be death. <laughs> you were able to drown out the ambience is what mostly makes the game scary. Yeah, true. Especially when you're listening to music like fucking Hammerfall, which is just like really, really like fucking like upbeat power metal. Oh. Very nice. Right? Oh. It worked in Half-Life 2, okay? You can't fault me for trying. Oh, Jesus. Maybe if we run fast enough. <laughs> you know what? That's not a bad idea. Oh, what is this music? From my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20-odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about. An underground Mithraic, Mith Mithraic? Mithraic temple crowned with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility. An artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Allstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these en enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them when I, as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surrounding. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the grain, grain, the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Some days I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It had been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you uh, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Aldstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. So that earlier article we read claiming that it was probably just an imposture because the real one, like, was found somewhere or just died someplace else, that was not correct. He really was here. Hmm. And... This note clearly didn't make its way to its intended reader because it's in here. So, that's a little bit suspicious. Huh. Surely it couldn't mean anything ominous. There's a lot of fucking torches to light in this tunnel, huh? Oh, 
Oh. Blade. Um. Blade. Oh. Oh, okay. Jesus. Bug blade. A bug. A bug. A bug. A bug. Can't believe this shit. <laughs> oh my god. Canis Lupus Familiaris, 1658. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. What? Hold on, I'm rereading that. <laughs> There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature it's G says I would smooch y'all send tweet do it you won't There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done More experiments must be performed but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments the experience of terror Um so he's trying to he's trying to like extract some kind of hormone that is only produced by animals when they're in extreme fear or pain. That's what I got from that. Yes. <laughs> oh look, it's an Acacia Strain album cover. Anyway. In a burp. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, oh Jesus. Oh God. All right, he killed the dog. He has to die. Yeah. Well, that was the plan from the beginning. It said it said it in stone. <laughs> but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Alas, or Yorick. A papa. A papa. A <laughs> it's just yes. fucked up. This is fucked up. Milestones of human anatomy. Um. Oh, you probably dissected people too. Then anyway. Um. So. Uh, a long time ago, I was at a friend's house. It was my introduction to Skyrim. Um, when I was younger, oh. and my friend's dad was like playing Skyrim, and I walked into the living room. Right. And they had this little toddler, right, who was walking in the room as he killed a wolf. Oh, my God. Right? And she starts crying because wolves are her favorite animal. Oh, God, no. <laughs> and so he's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. So ragdoll physics is Skyrim. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. The wolf to stand up. He's like, look, see, it's okay. Oh, my God. Bro, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> It was so funny to me. It's fucked up. All right, let me read this to forget what I just heard. My God. No, that dude's cheeked up. He, he felt so bad about it. Yeah, I can imagine so. Oh, because he thought that she was taking her nap still. Oh, my God. That's horrible. He, he probably could have used, like, the fucking necromancy spells to revive the wolf. Oh. But he then didn't she, have it yet. He was a low level. <laughs> but then she would have been super fucked up to f see the wolf turn back into dust as they do when the spell wears off. Oh, no. <laughs> see, that was my favorite thing to do ever, right? Is yeah. um, <clears throat> if I was like over encumbered and didn't have enough like space in my inventory to carry all the shit I wanted to carry, I would mm -hmm. go to a body, place all my items into it, uh, and then revive it with the necromancy spell. Then fast travel to where I wanted to go. The beast would then immediately, like, fucking, you know, like, turn back into dust, but I could still search the pile of dust for, like, my 50 battle axes that I put in it. <laughs> and by that point, I was already right this near my smart. house, so I could just move it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. 1658, January 9th. For the disappointment, the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. 
Since no research has been made in, any, in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. So, Alexander was trying to find something. Oh, this is look at the anatomy. The, the, the book, this article we're finding was written as far back as 1658, but we're in the 1800s. So... Vampire. <laughs> what if I told you it was worse? God. The, the idea that he's been around here for long enough that he just hoped that he would just have to wait and mankind would have researched it themselves and figured it out. And he was like, alright, fine, I gotta do it myself. It's been 200 years and you fucks haven't helped. So this is one of the things I was telling you about that changes based on your sanity. If you want, Lana, you can mm -hmm. Google Amnesia the Dark Descent sanity effects and see what happens to this painting when you're on low sanity. It's quite a fucking sight. Amnesia, the dark descent. Uh, I don't like those dog howls in this room, by the way. Effects painting. What do you think? Well, I'm only seeing like. Is there only one version of it? No. Hold up, wait. I'm only seeing one version of it, like of the bad sanity painting. Oh, you're only seeing like. Is that the one that I think it is? It's like face is all melted looking. Yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad, but when you're playing the game and you don't expect it, because you don't know that it's a sanity effect, so when you first walk in the room and you see it, you're like, oh, it's fine, and then you come back later, just because you were sitting in the dark and you see that, it's fucked up. It'll get you. Yeah, this dude's got a dick, I can't show that on Twitch. Death bones! Bones! Did that really disturb him that much? Did that really disturb him? It was just bones, dude. Dude, he's just seeing bones everywhere. What the heck? Do 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 <laughs> Wait, one more time one more time one more time yo dude dude look look right this little like this cool white orb that i got is so cool wait hold up <laughs> i i was hanging with my friends on call today and i got up to make myself some breakfast and as soon as i sat back down on the mic i just went -na 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 -na. and my friend trips was like how the fuck did you do that and i'm like what do you mean and he's like as soon as you sat down and said that the fucking i was watching sam and max and fucking sam turn into a skeleton when you said that and i'm like <laughs> like it was just perfectly timed i was gonna say something and then I was like, you know what? That just sounds disturbing when I try to explain it. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna real quick edit a clip of that and make it a fucking meme tonight as soon as the stream is over. Give me a sec. Uh, Google Keep Notes. Uh, turn on my mic. Amnesia the Dark Descent Bone Cabinet Bad to the Bone Meme. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard, like, the, uh, <clears throat> person, like, who is, like, scared of skeletons, and then, like, person was like, oh, oh. yeah, skeletons are scary, and they're like, uh, if anything, we should be scared of people, and they're like, why is that thing, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's, what about I, it? I thought it was interesting. I was just like, huh, I never thought of it oh, like that. Wait. I forgot, there's, there's like, there's rubble from a cave-in on, like, one of the earlier levels we were at, and if you walk yeah. up and look at the rubble, you see a hallucination of a monster behind you. Every time I make somebody play this game, I make them look at it, and it always gets them. 
I wasn't sure if it was going to happen here. Vex says, why is it disturbing? It's just, we're all just skeletons with fleshy cover. Yeah, I don't get why this dude is so freaked out by, like, bones in a cabinet. Oh, it actually worked! Escape! <laughs> oh, Jesus, look at the shadow. It's already fucking going through the woods now. Huh. I think if we call it the shadow, it's more like flesh. Hmm. Agrippa called it the Guardian, it seems. Oh. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Vex's skeletons can't hurt you, but I guess they can make you hurt yourself if you let it. Just like anything else scary. Is it the shadow that's talking in all these saving capsules? I think it's Alexander. This one's a little bit too dark. Oh, perfect timing too. Ooh, flow cycle rod. Here, wait, just in case. <laughs> if the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chambers. The meter should read up 8, down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, 4 phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Well, that's how we operate that elevator we need to take downstairs. But something tells me there's a lot more to it than just that. Ba -na 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 -na. Oh, there's nothing. This is a nice little section. There's not really much to be seen here. Except for the flesh, I guess. The fucking mist, too. Whoa. Oh, shit. I still don't fuck with this level, actually. Never mind. I don't think it's nice. I hate it. Can I just stay in the fucking bones room forever? On guard. Oh. That was, um... That was lame. Moving on. Vandal be weak. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder you can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Daniel sucks. Huh. There's a lot of books. If Alexander's been around for as long as he says, or he seems to have been around for... Like, hold up. Yes, yeah, you look. 1839. Wait, no. 1839 is when Daniel uh, f went to Algeria. Hold up. Notes. Okay, it's still 1839. Okay. But he knew him, so. He went to, Al he went to Algeria in May. And it's at, it's at the very least August now. It's definitely August. So, how bad did his life, how did his life go this bad to shit? In what, like, three months? <laughs> okay, find a key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Find a way to start the engines to power the elevator. What? I don't know. Destroy a whole world? I don't know. Huh? 
to destroy a whole world. <laughs> oh god. Honestly, well, it seems like it from the weirdness of this stuff. It kind of does, don't it? No. At least that would be like so ridiculous that it would be a little bit harder to take seriously. I'm not going to make any comments about this statue. I know what you fuckers are thinking. I'm not going to say it. I'm sitting here like, what? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. The statue doesn't have a name. It's just a statue. So aggressive breaking I'm gonna trash I'm gonna trash Alexander's shit. I hate that noise. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Let's get out of here. I think we've gotten all we need. Vex is when you dabble in things beyond your understanding and trust the wrong people, your world can collapse in a matter of minutes. Oh yeah. Just like that one time I clapped a couple of dudes in Chernobyl. It was crazy. Yeah. Oh wait, I do that every day. At least the music is nice here. Sandy's a slight headache. Let's see what's in the guest room. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Whoa. Somewhere far away, this is- No, 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 don't, don't you say that motherfucker's name, Hex. Don't say it. Don't say his name. Don't do it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, look. Um, Lana, how much do you think this thing probably costs? Hmm, not enough. Break it. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to bounce like that. Me either. <laughs> is that supposed to be a double bed? Yeah. I remember it looking better than this. This looks... Honestly, this entire game feels like you're in Resident Evil 4, but you don't have a gun. <laughs> Somebody already ransacked this dude's place. Somebody else was looking for the kind of stuff that... Oh, wait, no. I think this is the room Alexander stayed in. It said someone took his journal. He did? When? Oh, when we walked in the room, he said... Why would they need my journal? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. Oh, God. Badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. What? The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched the search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. <coughs> okay. So after the expedition, the other people that uh, Daniel went on it with are already... Uh, the, those who are left uh, are dealing with some shit, it seems. Uh-oh. That's a nice-looking suit. The fuck does that say? Ah, uh, not important. <laughs> I got fire. Get out there. Very oh. breezy window. Right? It's not even open. You this got a draft in your castle, broken. Alexander. Oh shit. Let's go. Open King Tut's tomb and unleash the curse. Oh man. I I'd gladly open King Tut's tomb before touching any of the shit they find in this game. Oh, it's another rabbit. Alright. 3rd of July, 
Yeah, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <clears throat> Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. Hmm. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Let's see about this door. Ah, uh, I see here. Uh oh. What the? Wait. Yep. Oh yeah, monsters are coming in. I I don't dare open the door to look because they they'll see you. If you look at monsters, they just can tell that you're looking at them. <coughs> Thankfully, this oh, is no. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, this yeah. is no outlast. Uh, there is no programming for them to open up stuff that you might be inside of. If you're hiding in a closet like this, you're totally okay. I think that means that he's good. Oh, it was not I was not supposed to do that. Of July, Here we go. <coughs> it's done. Oh shit. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces. We'd like to take a moment to announce that. Hey Gravy, what's up? Somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together. Thank you for the follow, Kragi. I joined them. Mwah. You're the awesome. Orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. All right. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Hydrich's help with absolute terror. Indeed. Okay, so he comes back from his expedition. The people he went on it with, almost all of them are dead, and the only one left is fucking ranting and raving about being attacked by something in the middle of the fucking desert where there isn't anything. Uh, and the artifact that he brought back, which shouldn't be the one that was actually found, because that's supposed to be with the other guy that came back. The artifact that he found, which originally didn't seem to actually fit back together just suddenly did on its own after he had horrible fucking nightmares. This does not bode well for this man. The key's not here. Unless... My brain nope. is, like, trying to make a stretch that makes no sense. Right? Yeah. It's like, what if Daniel's, like, some kind of monster? I'm like, well, that wouldn't make sense because he's, like, made these letters and we're currently playing as him. Daniel's not a monster, but he yeah. has seen them. Oh, this one has broken. This this drawer has broken textures. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I'm actually gonna get up and stretch. Thank you for the uh, stretch and hydrate redeems gravy. Just a moment.
Um, Odin gets me. Odin gets me. <laughs> what do you want to ask a question? Aren't sure how exactly to ask your stupid question. Go ahead. There's no stupid questions here, especially not in Lovecraftian fiction. Kragi, it's another friend. Hey, Kragi, welcome on in. Oh, I gotta put the lantern away. I'm wasting oil. What the fuck? So the key wasn't here. An important key is hidden in the guest room. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, I know. Well. Aggressive. <laughs> oh, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide in that. The flicker of the village light. What? That last part wasn't subtitled. Did you hear that? He said, uh, but what should I in it? Come out. No, you said like the flicker like of the to bluish take a moment to the bluish light. <laughs> Let's go, we got the machine room key. <clears throat> Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. <clears throat> so yeah, um the guardian of this artifact, uh not only does it Oh shit. Um, this is just like That's a torso. New. Um. <laughs> Whee! Wait, hold up. I've got an idea. Throwing it in the water. Oh, how did you know? <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> this thing must be heavy. I'm having trouble walking while I'm carrying it. Oh. Jesus. <clears throat> this is where you are, good luck. Yeah, um, there are two places left to go. To be perfectly honest, I might call it here because we're about to go to the storage. We'll see a little bit of the storage if I feel brave enough. This man has no nipples either. Did the lady torsos. <laughs> Maybe? Huh. I would I was sure it was gonna color the water red. That would have been cool. Amnesia is not an immersive sim, confirmed. Wasn't this door open? No. <clears throat> Fuck it, I'll ask my stupid question. Let's go! Question time. Look at these lions. The lion, the thing that tore the person apart, yeah? Yeah, that is not game related. Ah, I see. Is it gonna be stalker question, Odin? Zlyam. Alright, let's go. But that would be game related. Well, yeah, but I think they mean, like, not related to this game. Mm -hmm. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Oh. That's so spooky. Everything went I'm already wobbly. starting I'm already starting to lose sanity just standing here. And there's lanterns everywhere they can be. Yeah, I'm gonna start lighting these up. Fifth of July, <clears throat> Ah, Today, more letters. address book along with some relevant textbooks i see professor taylor of the faculty of history was very helpful and i managed to approach the subject of the orbs the most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture the mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the globus cruciger the globus so cruciger regalia holds to this day in ancient times the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun <coughs> power as I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked... Fortnite? $19 Fortnite card? I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Fortnite Battle Pass. Wow. I just shit out my ass. 
<laughs> um, Odin. Um, I can't speak for everybody. Um, <clears throat> as a like a trans femme individual, even so, um, as far as I can tell, most people don't really seem to have a problem with it but it's best not to use the term for somebody unless they like you know like um unless they you know like kind of like identify themselves as it but i'm afraid i'm not really educated enough to speak on it all i know is that most people that i know seem to be kind of okay with it um it's definitely a better alternative to the other one that's like really bad and is a transphobic slur which i'm not going to say um but again like it's 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 very much a like by person basis with that word is all i'm gonna say this looks like an area where i'd have to do puzzles but it still doesn't feel very safe does it i don't fucks it with it it's like a murder zone it does feel like a murder zone so yeah with all the notes you can probably like in in case somebody wasn't really grasping that this game is Lovecraftian, all of the notes that you have to read and all of, like, just the way the game is written kind of give it away. It is a very, uh... It is a very, like, uh... Because Lovecraftian horror is meant to be very verbose, and there's a lot of, like, just kind of, like, wordliness to it. So, that'll do it. What's this? That looked like a puzzle. <laughs> So this is July, a full month after the thing. So, within like two months... No, within a month, because it's August now, and this is July. His life went to complete shit within a month. Hey! He simply wrote, I know, I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Odin. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound of defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Mm. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate. Oh, Dr. Tate. That guy is cool. To help me sleep. I suppose I have, Odin. I'm not really sure, though. I think I'd prefer to maybe steer away from this topic, please. Now, we gotta go down here next. I don't like that sound. Here. All right, my bad for getting this is Twitch sometimes. It's all right. Just, um, you know, make sure to kind of like, you know, read the room with that kind of stuff. Ravi, it's not behind me. There's nothing down here. Hog wheel does not fit on the spoke. Spoke. The cog wheel speaks? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this nah, is that's, that's funny. No, I fuck with that. <laughs> I tried. Sound uh, Redeems would get me a lot more than that, Gravy. I've been playing this game for 10 years. I've never beaten it, but I've played it. I don't have any spooky Sound Redeems. Hmm? I don't have any spooky Sound Redeems. I've got Sound Redeems that are loud. The Stalker Moment one gets me sometimes. Gravy approves this joke. Well, you have a quick save one. Yup, that's for games where I like genuinely need to quick save, and I find myself fucking up so bad with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I almost prop killed myself. All right, we need some coal.
Did you get a sound redeem that is someone screaming monolith? Oh god. Oh god. That'd be fucking horrible. Just fucking... Like a fucking 500 bits thing that's just... Vrag monolita! Or the fucking, uh... Monolith throwing a grenade voice line. I'd immediately start having... Yeah, the grenade sound effect from Stalker. Like the line that it plays whenever a fucking, uh... Monolith starts fucking, uh... Like throwing a grenade... That shit would, like, immediately have me in a cold sweat for hours. Fuck that. <laughs> Jet has a clown horn that scares him every single time. I know! It's so good. I love redeeming it. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? You motherfucker. Oh, hey, what's this? Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack. So there are probably more. There are definitely more of these that are prob I probably miss in the study room. To be honest, fight me, Sasha. Do what you want. The fuck is that noise? <laughs> it's a snivery snake. It's a snake. It's a snake. It's a snake. A badger, 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 badger. <laughs> God damn it. What's that from? <laughs> Wait, oh, I thought that's what you, I thought you recognized it. It's like an no. old internet video called the like badger like dance or something. It's just a bunch of badgers, and he just repeats that word, and he just goes, Mushroom, mushroom, it's... It's old, it's like fucking old, old internet. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense these days anymore, but... I thought it was funny. Yeah, see, Gravy gets it. Me, I, uh... Know some, like... I guess they're considered cursed meme videos at this point. <laughs> Alright, well, the generator's burning, but there's nothing to do with these fucking... Dogs. The machinery needs more work before it will run. Oh, these cogs do fit on those spokes. Okay. The cog wheel speaks. <laughs> it says, oh, fuck no, you. <laughs> it goes, eh. <laughs> I can link. Uh, unfortunately, my bot's probably going to pick it up, Gravy. I don't really know why I'm bothering with this puzzle. It's not finished, and the only way to finish it is to go back into the storage, and I'm not doing that. You just finish what you can, kind of thing. Yeah. Also, all of those fucking- all those- Holy shit! Holy shit! Kirk! Kirk, you can't just- You can't just fucking do that right now! You can't just do that shit, Kirk! Oh god. Hold on a second. Alright. We're, we're, we're kind of, you know what, fine, I'll, I'll do a little bit more of this game if that's the case then. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Give me a second, we're going back to the bar. That was the wrong screen. Kirk says, did it work? <laughs> it worked. Rated by New Metal itself. My god, Kirk, thank you so fucking much. I'm going to give you a fat fucking chat shout out real quick. Um, I... <laughs> I, I rated this. I rated Kirk last night, and he's come back to return the favor. I see. Uh, good evening, everybody. I hope y'all are having a great night, and thank you so much for coming on down here tonight. Kirk, you're the best. Fucking awesome to see you tonight. Um, for those who are new to me, I am too much Sasha. I am a Chernobyl battle maid. I cook, I clean, and I kill. And I'm here with my homie, uh, Lana Woolsby, the sheep detective. Yeah. <laughs> You have to keep playing. Oh god, man, you, you motherfucker, you can't do this to me. Where's that fucking... Whatever, we're playing Amnesia the Dark Descent because we were going to play Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth tonight, but it fucking broke. So we're playing this game. Um, I was kind of getting ready to call it a night, but you know what? We'll just see a little bit of the storage before we call it a night, and then we'll send everybody on elsewhere. How about that? I didn't expect to get this far in the game, and also I... I... Oh god... Holy shit! Holy shit! Ooh. Kirk, thank you so much for the fucking gift sub! Let's go. Oh, Patch is gonna be so happy to see that. I love Patch. So yeah, this this is a this is a ten this is like a fucking twelve plus year old game 
It's a it's an old horror classic, but we're just kind of looking into it. Um, we're both a little bit tired. It's been Making a long day. Making fun of it as we go. We're trying our best to make fun of it, but unfortunately, <laughs> storage. Incredible whiplash from hype to Sag. Dark Corners, who is super annoying to get running. Yeah, God, man. I, I even installed the fucking fan patch, and that shit just could not stop crashing. Is it scary? Well, um, how bad it is to fucking run is scary. In, in a game with manual saving at, like, specific locations that you have to save at, it should not crash. A Catherine, thank you so much for the uh, follow. All right, so Lana, this is the area I was telling you about. Remember when we were down in the refinery and the and the wine cellar? Remember how it looked like dark, but like there was still mist and you could kind of see shit. Yeah. Um, not anymore. This is pitch uh -oh. fucking black. Uh, Holiday Kirk says, "Oh, right, you were talking about amnesia, Kirk, not uh, not Call of Cthulhu, weren't you?" Um, this is. This is a game that was kind of inescapable back in the days of, like, early 2010s gaming YouTube. PewDiePie was playing it, Tobuscus was playing it, everybody was playing this. It is one of the horror games ever, so yeah, Gravy, I agree with that. Um, this is a... It's an interesting game. I've quoted it before on stream as being a game that people unfortunately took a lot of the wrong lessons from. It's I consider this to be like the half-life of modern horror. Um, Unfortunately, the lesson this game took from a lot of people was just that you shouldn't let people defend themselves in a horror game. Um, this has really solid and like antiquarian kind of writing. It's a really good Lovecraftian story that doesn't rely on the existing fame of the Cthulhu mythos to be a solid story. Um, I fuck with it heavy. Uh, the problem is it's too good at what it sets out to do, which is fucking terrify me. The soundtrack, Miko Tarnia kicked it out of the fucking park. With the soundtrack, um, oh god, Penumbra is better. There's more. There's more story to it than people give it credit for as well. People just treat it as puzzle, puzzle horror, spooky. Yeah, no, this in my opinion is one of the best Lovecraftian horror games out there, right up there with Bloodborne. I think it's fucking fantastic, and the story is really good. I love it. Um, only problem is, yeah, it's just oh god. So here's the problem, right? Some of these doors have monsters in them. I've heard of it, I just wanted to give Sasha a chance to go off. Oh, well, you know what? Honestly, I appreciate the transparency, and also, I love gushing about things, so thank you for giving me a chance to. You'd honestly have better luck with Zemu and a ROM for Call of Cthulhu who is unstable even on XP slash Vista. Yep. There's a note somewhere, I swear there's a note in this fucking game. That just straight up tells you, hey, uh, the, the fucking darkness in the storage is literally unnatural. It's not supposed to be like this. The fucking music does not help. Do you hear this shit? It'd be like, woo! There's no torch on that sconce. They put it there to fuck with you. The storage looks like a Skyrim storage. It really does. It just has bad lighting. Yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> I fucking knew it. You know what? Let's see it. Check it out. This is the monster. You guys, you guys get to see the monster since we're about to end the stream. Here he is. Oh, that's what they look like. His mouth's all open. What? <laughs> hey, dude. Okay, I just want to say, I, I just want to say, um, that 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 the way he lunged towards me, I didn't expect that. You're ending the stream. Yeah, we've been going for three hours, and both of us are tired. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, I forgot. If here's the here's the thing about amnesia. Um, oh shit, I was wrong. I was literally, I was literally just about to say that you could just like let the monster kill you, and then you respawn, and it's gone, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I was then immediately proven wrong. Kirk, it's been three hours and we're tired as fuck, and this game is also too scary for me. I wasn't supposed to stream this tonight. You didn't raid for nothing. I'm going to send everybody on down to someone else. It'll be cool. Any game that scares you and doesn't rely on jump scares for the horror is a great scary game. It is. This game is a great example. Oh, shit. Come on, dude.
should have been here for the Silent Hill 2 stream. The Silent Hill 2 stream was a really good fucking time, yeah. It was also somehow, like, not as scary as this, but I, I personally hold it in a much higher regard than Amnesia. Is she big scared? Yeah, of course I fucking am. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there's the teeth grinding. Yeah, okay, it's 11 p.m. and I don't want to do this to myself at this hour, man. I'm supposed to just be playing spooky jank horror games this month, not like actually scary games. <laughs> we gotta get this books. Ah, oh, man. Get this books for this... For this book. <laughs> okay, Gravy, you're trying to use the fucking vine boom thing to scare me. It's not gonna work. I clipped the moment we both got spooked. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the fucking follow, Valvisera. Mwah. God, I'm, I gotta, I'm like having trouble keeping with, keeping up with all the chat messages. All right, Lana, how's your energy? Should we call it? Because I, I, it's uh, not just me. I also don't want to like drain my co-hosts. Um, my brain's a little mush, but yeah, me too. I can push if needed. I don't think I want to push you. I, I, it's only the ninth. Still got twenty-two days of horror. Okay, I got plenty of good stuff. Wait till you see my schedule for this week. It's gonna go up like tomorrow to at, two, at uh, one p.m. Oh my god, everybody's fucking, re everybody's fucking redeeming the loud sound things, trying to fuck with me. <laughs> god damn it, you people are assholes. You guys are assholes. With viewers like you, god damn, we cannot too much on, uh, put too much on the glorious ye. The All right. Ye Jesus. Yeah, the ye was like a telling of like how it much was. my brain's mush. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's 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 stop beating around the shit then. Let's head back to the bar and debrief and find somebody to raid. Oh my god, everybody's. You guys are fuckheads. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe I'm letting y'all do this to me. Fuck y'all. Okay. What the dog doing? Yo, what the dog doing? All right. So um. This is what happens when your chat is filled with gremlins. That's true, it is nothing but gremlins. Um, so that was Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, Lana, what do you what do you think of uh first off, what did you think of Call of Cthulhu? The like fucking ten minutes we got to see of it. <laughs> well, it was funny, cause like the uh the voice actor was like, ah, oh, yes, they're all dead. They're all dead. I am deeply disturbed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a disappointment. Hold on, real quick. Perk says how the, how the transition the stream is so fire. How do you do this? It is literally a oh, thing I found on YouTube. It was just called like VHS, like uh, tape eject, um, like uh, resource or something. I found it, and I noticed it was too long, so I put it into DaVinci Resolve, and I chopped it up to like be as quick and snappy but still retain all of the prevalent sound as necessary it's um it, it, it took me like about like an hour of like work but i'm i'm proud of how it came out and i'm happy it looked nice i mean everything but that too oh um i don't know i just uh i'm, I'm very happy with the aesthetic that i put together here and it, it just kind of took a while to make it all work all of it's just kind of like existing resources and preset effects but uh i made it work Gravis says, I claim responsibility for the barrage of redeems for the purpose of scaring. I regret nothing. Oh, I know it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was you. You know the uh, ringleader. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Um, no, there was a line where I wanted to get to in, uh, could you stream aesthetic advice? Hit me up sometime. I could use stream aesthetic. Oh yeah, I of course. I the line. <laughs> I'd love to, uh, I'd love to hit you up sometime, Kirk. It's, uh, it's just like all just kind of about like having like a an overall like theme that you like going with i really like found footage horror movies and that's kind of what i stick for with all of this um but lana there's a line in fucking call of cthulhu i wanted to get to um and i think i told you about it but there's a part where like the protagonist what's his name jack walters he finds like a, a he finds like a hanging body and he just goes like you'd think he'd say like oh my god she's dead or who could have done this and the city just goes Judging by the smell, this noose broad must have kicked it a few weeks back. And you're like, what oh the God. fuck? Who says that? Who says that noose shit? Broad. <laughs> Noosed broad. Oh, oh my God. No. Yeah, it's it's just like, what the fuck? Who writes this? So Call of Cthulhu has a lot of great moments. There's honestly a fantastic horror moment with a character named Ramona that I wanted to get to. We didn't get to see that either. We didn't get to see the Fishmen or even just the fucking silly shooter segments. Fish Maybe, maybe sometime I'll come back to... <laughs> yeah, a 1920s detective would absolutely say that. So it's like, it's unfortunate that that happened. Um, 
It was the 30s. People were stumbling on self hangs constantly. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So we didn't get to do fucking uh, Call of Cthulhu, but it's all right. I'll probably come back to it on stream if I manage to find out why it was crashing. I don't know why I didn't run more recon and I had a fucking week to set that up. But you know what? I'll oh. take that L. I'll take that L. <laughs> I am Noir dives through doorway to shoot fish people. <laughs> Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> no, literally, a fucking a fucking mission in that game is just called Attack of the Fishmen. Um, but yeah, um, and uh what did you, I, Amnesia. I, I honestly did not expect it to be this effective at, at spooking me, but like again, <laughs> a big part of it is just because of the whole like you're not allowed to fight back thing feels kind of fishy. Uh well not yeah. fishy, but it feels kind of cheap. I don't really fuck with it, and that's what I mean when I say that like people took the wrong lessons from it. It's just like Dude, you can just make your game super easy by, like, making so you can't fight back. And so we got, like, an entire fucking decade of mid-tier indie horror games that all play the exact fucking same. <laughs> Slender. So it's like, yeah, I get you liked Amnesia and you thought, but, like, because of that, we got a bunch of people saying that any game where you can defend yourself isn't scary. Which is super not fucking true, because Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, uh, Siren... Uh, what else? Resident Evil, motherfucking, um, what is it? Fatal Frame, and you outlast your desire to sleep. Yeah, I, okay, look, all right. I thought Outlast 1 was okay. Outlast 2, that's a different fucking story. Dead Space slaps. I'm actually yeah, going to be playing Dead Space Outlast. this month. Just <laughs> you wait. You have to actually edit some lines of code and cap the frame rate to get Call of Cthulhu working if you're lucky. Yeah, I assumed so. I had a fan patch running and I thought that would have fixed it, but evidently not. Oh, I put too much faith in Bethesda to have a running game. Give me something to post. What do you mean, give me give you something to post? Do you want like a music wreck? Do you want a music wreck? You already posted Vein FM, so I, I can't help you much there. Uh, actually, no, I think I have something. Unless you mean something else. Dead Space Remake? No, I'm not playing the Dead Space Remake because it's not out yet. Um, Kirk, uh, post fucking, um, uh, fucking Harm's Way. Post human, fantastic fucking album. Very new metal, very industrial, really really good shit. Chicago hardcore with lots of new metal and industrial tones. Um, if you want a specific song, I'm gonna go with "Call My Name." That one hits. Um, Odin says Call of Cthulhu is non-Euclidean coding, so of course it's buggy in our reality of squares and circles. <laughs> you know what? I I don't even disagree with that. Um, I found somebody to raid out. Um, my homie Spiral Galaxy. She is continuing her. Uh, series of streams. She's doing a big fucking VR chat thing this month, uh, but she's raising money for a charity called Gamers Outreach. It's the beefy frontman band. Yes, it is. It's the band with that fucking running man meme. Uh, they're a fantastic band. I was actually going to see them a year ago uh, with fucking uh, Acacia Strain and Kublai Khan TX. It was like my fucking swole core lineup of my dreams, and I had to cancel it because I didn't really have the money to drive myself all the way down to fucking Tennessee. So, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a really good fucking album. Uh, but we are going to raid Spiral. She is doing a fundraiser this month for a charity called Gamers Outreach that supplies um, entertainment to children's hospitals. It's really fucking cool and nice, and she's been actually fucking killing it on the... Um, on the fundraising, fundraising because she hit her fucking monthly goal on the first night of streaming. I was there. Oh. Odin says the Slavic Jank is empowered by liquor. Yeah, no, Slavic Jank is naturally more fun to play than Western Jank. I'm gonna be perfectly fucking honest with you. I'd rather play fucking Boiling Point Road to Hell for like years and years and play a single day of a Ubisoft game. But anyway, we're gonna get ready to raid into my friend Spiral. Lastly, Lana, for our new people, please tell everybody once more, one more time, who you are and what you do. This time I won't fail. Okay, so <laughs> I am Nana Goldsby. I am a detective chief VTuber. I am usually supposed to be on a case, but typically I end up getting distracted by video games because they're frankly more interesting. And so it's like I tell myself, yeah, I'll go back to the case after this game. So yeah. That's what I do. I, I, I stream. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I, I respect it. Yeah. I'm not going to forget the fact that you let my cousin just, like, die and you didn't report. You didn't You didn't do anything about that case, Lana. You you never found the person who killed him. We're finding them. We're finding them. Don't you told me that weeks ago, it. Lana. Don't worry about it. 
Who's your contractor? I want to call them. I need to file a report about this. Anyway. <laughs> a anyway. Um, I think I'm going to get us ready to raid into Spiral. Um, Lana, I will be right back. Everybody say goodnight. And Lana, say goodnight to everybody else. Good night. Bye-bye. Yeet. All right. So, that concludes tonight's stream. Again, apologies for it being, like, such a fucking, like, raid in and then I leave kind of thing. It's been a long night, homies. I just, I got a lot going on. Um, so, our raid message is, you know what, fuck it. We're, we're just going to take a page out of Lana's book. The raid message is going to be ye. This is what you get. Copy-paste that. You can use whatever emotes you want. Um, but, uh, that is... It's been the first week of October, and I got out a bunch of fucking cool programming. I'm super happy about it. Um, what do I have? <laughs> How dare? <laughs> oh, shit, she's still watching. All right, uh, real quick, before we actually raid out, I'm going to give a rundown of what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the week. Um, on Tuesday, of course, I'm going to be doing more Stalker Anomaly, as I do every Tuesday. It's going to be a good time. Look forward to that. On Thursday, me and my friend Noel, we're going to be playing Nightmare House 2. It's a Source Engine game. It's a sequel to a Gary's Mod map. It slaps. Uh, next Saturday, me and Tag the Otter are going to be playing Aliens, Colonial Marines, and Co-op. And uh, a week from today, next Sunday, um, is another album anniversary stream. Um, Danza 4, the Alpha the Omega, by one of my favorite bands ever, the Tony Danza Tap Dance Extravaganza, turns 10 years old on the 16th. So me and the homie Sineapple, who is a fellow purveyor of extreme and heavy music, we're going to be sitting down and listening to that on stream, and I hope to see you all there, because that album is absolutely fucking incredible. I love Josh Travis, I've rated him before, he's a fucking king. He's an incredibly good guitarist. He's easily my favorite guitarist of this generation, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. And... All of these dates are, of course, going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as usual. I'll be posting on Twitter my weekly schedule, so y'all can check there if you um, need any reminders. And I, of course, update my Twitch schedule here with these dates as well. Um, links to my Twitch are going to be in the About page, as usual. Uh, let me hit that uh, fucking raid right now so we can head on down. Uh, slash raid, spiral, galley, XC. Okay. Uh, that about does it for tonight. Um, once again, thank you so much, Kurt, for the raid. You're a fucking king, and, um, uh, thank you, of course, for the kind words and the subs and everybody for the follows. Y'all are wonderful. And I hope to see y'all again sometime soon, maybe Tuesday, Thursday, any other day that I'm around. Um, I love y'all. Have a wonderful night, friends. I'll see you in Spiral's chat soon. Remember, their pronouns are she slash they. Um, follow the rules. Don't be weird. Don't be a dick. I'm watching you. Be safe. I love y'all.